governors present, members of parliament present, our CSS, our PSS, CASS, Ekanisa Yitumbi Yamole, Ava Antoine Asayem Yamole Mwensi, Mwako Kaboli, Mwako Kaboli, Ava Anginanga Yimbole, Ngayawa Anginamole, your Excellency, we want to thank you very much, together with your deputy, for coming to grace this occasion. We are very grateful for the gesture of appointing one of our sons, Ezekiel Machogu, as Minister for Education. We thank you also for appointing our members of this community to various positions, and we are very grateful in everything that you continue doing for us. Before I make a few remarks, allow me, Your Excellency, to introduce all the members of parliament from Gusi region, Kisi and Yamira. Aba Jumbe Vanya, Vanya, Gusi and Yamira in Jugaki. Njibosiga. Aba Jumbe Vanya Mira and Gusi, Mojibosiga. The <laughs> Oyo, I go to Steve Mogaka from West Mugirango, Namira. Oya go to Nyatogoro, Ntogoro. Oya nere women rep in Namira. I go to Kuwa Jerusha Momani. Omoswati Oyo, I go to Gloria Rova, nominated senator from Bubas. Momurova Magnete. Oya nere treasurer. Obwa the chief executive of the UDA. I go to Kwa Jafet Nyakundi. Kitu tu chache no. Ona obwete obwete omoga kodi yoko Kwa Angweni Chikura biyamano. Oya go to Patrick Osero. Go to Wasi. Go to go to Bora 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 Bora. Oya go to Nimbia Mora Mwenzi. I want to have Mindo. I want Nyari Bari Mwe Gwete Buya. Biyamano. Oya go to Dr. Nchoke, Kuruwo Nchari, Kisi County. Oya go to Zahir Jan, Oya go to Zahir Jan, Salimia Wati, Salimia Samati. Zahir Jan, Oya no yo si ito, Kuruwa Nyariwa Ali Chache. Oya no mwana kwe pasta, Akoro kwa Alfa Miruka, Kuruwa Machoa ke Chache. Mwana asifiwe. Omoga koya koro kuwa innocent ubiri koro wasi onero mojumbe kwe gavana yito. Omo ngi no mojanja kwa nabe. Oyono yose yito ga akoro kuwa Doris Donya Toto women rap kisi kwa na. Eh, your excellency and your deputy president Asante. Thank you, thank you. All protocol observed. Chiswita timbia mare. Abaga kabai tumbia mare. Mbia mono. Mimi your excellency lazima niombe wa mama maji. Tangu mimi nizaliwe tumekuwa tunambiwa maji ya kegati, maji ya kegati. Jana tulikuwa uko. Now your excellency kwa sababu wa jumbe wanakuomba barabara they cost up to millions. Governors wa naomba projects za billions. Mimi ninge kuomba kama mama county tafadhali. Unisaidia driller ya NYS. Wakati tunaongoja maji ya kegati, mimi nikuja nyumbani nianze kuchimba boholes wa mama wetu wa siende mutoni wamechoka. Pili, pili wa excellency. Ukienda pahali, lazima uwache zawadi. 
Kweli mimi sikupata barua yoyote ya TSC. Hapa ni getacho primary. Ajiri walimu wa BOG kwa niaba yangu nimekuomba our dear president Mr. William Samoy Ruto. Ndio wazazi wasilipe BOG kwa sababu mimi sikupata hata mimi nipe zawadi ntua robu ya rolinga ruto na nkonya mwisho mwisho tafadhali la mwisho tuko na shida ya stima na nimeona waziri wa energy yuko hapa sababu ya kukosa stima ni kwa sababu hatuna projects zile ziko na policy ya Kenya Power 2021 tulipatiwa only 15 projects kwa policy ya Kenya Power every county Every constituency nafaa kupewa saba. Hivyo unaona hizo 15 aziezi tosha kisi county ambayo iko na nine constituencies. Tupea hata tano tano tupate light. Usiku mzee akiangalia anaona mama ko sawa. Asante wa excellency Mungu akubariki. Thank you. Thank you. Your excellency, allow me to also recognize our MCAs. MCAs all MCAs, please stand up. All the MCAs from Kisi and other counties, please stand up. Kindly wave to the President. Your Excellency, we also have former members of Parliament among us. Please, members of Parliament, former members of Parliament, please stand and wave to the President. We have Richard Tongi there, Opore, Jimmy Angwenyi, Chris Bichage, Mbiya Manosana. Your Excellency, ordinarily, we would come with a very long menu of our needs. And I think you're now used to this. But as Member of Parliament, Your Excellency, I only have two requests. My first request is very simple. This school has produced two ministers. We have got Ezekiel Machaguia and we have Professor Sam Mongeri. They went to this school. Na kwa kiswahili najua wanasema kinyozi hawezi kujinyoa. I'm requesting your excellency this school is renamed William Ruto Getacho Center of Excellence. Alafu tujenge block moja pale. Mimi kama member of parliament na hawa jumbe wote tutafanya ground floor na foundation. Deputy president wewe unajua mambo ya shares ufanye first floor. President ufanye second floor. So that our people will have a mark that you came here and left a center of excellence. My second request, Your Excellency. Keroka Ibaacho Kiamukama. Abandwaminto Teva Keroka. Teva Keroka. Ibaacho. Kiamukama. Your Excellency, that is a very simple road. 6.7 kilometers from Keroka to Ivacho. 11.8 from Ivacho to Kiamukama. Inside 20 kilometers, Your Excellency, you'll have touched the lives of our people. Please, Your Excellency. Atuna mambo mingi. Deputy President, mi najua tumatoka mbali na wewe. Na wewe najua mambo ya shares. Sasa, 2027, tutapiga esabu tena tuone shares itakuwa na mnagani. Now I'll tell you, we'll, we'll, we'll surprise you. Lakini, I read a verse in the Bible, Matthew 20. Kulikuwa na tajiri moja, akaita watu wakuja shambani. Wengine wakaingia saa tatu wa subui, wengine wakaingia saa sita, wengine wakaingia jioni. Lakini wote, wakalipo sumuni. Nje natu, wakusenye buka watewa. Your Excellency. Kuna wale ambao watakuja serikali saa sita. Wengine watakuja saa kumi. Lakini siku ya malipo tafadhali make it equal so that we are all the same. Your Excellency, lastly, tulifanya uchaguzi hapa. Tukakimbia tukashurutishwa, mnajua vile tulikuwa. But let me tell you your excellencies, the church stood with you. Hii kanisa ilisimama na wewe. Sisi, tukibita wanatuambia William Ruto na kuwa president. Sisi tunasema pana, tuko na deep state. Awa, watu wa mungu walikuombea. 
Hatukujua utakuwa president. Lakini najua hao wako na wako na roho mtakatifu walijua kwa sababu wako na Holy Spirit saa yote. So mimi ningejua namna gani utakuwa president your excellency. Mimi sina roho mtakatifu. But now we are together. And that is what matters. And as we walk together your excellency, we want to promise you that we shall work for our people. And even as we celebrate Mr. Machogu's ascension as minister, I also want to thank you and tell you that our people here love you very much. Your Excellency, without so much, let me allow uh, Chief Whip, who is my boss in Parliament, to come and introduce the other members of Parliament. Asante, Asante sana. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Governors present, Your Excellency, uh, and all other leaders, all protocols observed uh, for, because of time. Your Excellency, Karibu Sana Kisi. I to Kero muga ka machogu mu siyasi atene atebi abantu batene ne ekuara atene niya aba minister abange otene niya aba PSC abange na mbe ya mungu ba sorora abana wa minto muraibu ensnara na namba ibere nara esrekali yangu mani chipe sachiansi na ochira mto iwa na ine ege ntege tangani ntege de toba bororo Toteke rabara yaba. Nto baba antobe buraburu, ntu ntuliba kere. Nto baba antaba ororo, batali buraburu ekare mekutane yero. Ekare na akore kukwa na yu. Your Excellency nilikuwa na wambia kwa kisi wa okoke yesu wana kuja very soon. Nisikuwa na mbemu. Nishukuru sana His Excellency the President. Kwa heshima kubwa. Kwa sababu... Ingawaje kama community yetu hatukuweza hata kama ulikuja hapa kisi mara more than 200 times in your campaign period as a deputy president na tulijua ulikuwa na shida nyingi ukiwa deputy president hata kama kama wa kisi hatukukupatia ile tungefaa kukupatia tunakushukuru tuna sana 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 kwa kutukumbuka Hatukuwa tunajua kama tunaweza manage kuingia kwa serikali. Leo hii tunafurahia tuko na CS. Leo hii tunafurahia tuko na Solicitor General. Tuko na CSS watatu. Tuko na position different boards. Mpaka chairman wa Kengen, maneno ya stima anatoka sehemu ya kisi. Hata wale ma CSS umetupea. Ile ingine umetupea, umetupatia another very powerful very integral ministry ya interior kupitia mtoto hapa nyumbani Millicent Omanga tunakushukuru sana your excellency kwa kutukumbuka in that format going forward your excellency kwa hii miaka tano sisi tumejifunza na mwalimu wetu mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa our deputy president ambaye mimi nilikuwa bungeri na yeye last time ameshinda kitufunza ametuambia going forward sisi kama jamii ya mkisi tujue vile tunapiga kura, tujue vile tunaoparate na tujue vile tunajifunza. Mwalimu wetu naibu wa rais. Vile umeona mwenendo yetu haijakuwa mbaya. Last week kulikuwa na maandamano. Haukuona kisi, haukuona nyamira na hautawahi yaona. Kwa sababu tumeanza kujifunza. Kwa sababu tumeanza kujifunza. Tumesema sisi wa kisi ni watu wa kufanya kazi. Hatutaki kuingia kwa barabara wale ile maandamano ilifanyika kule Nairobi watu ambao waliumia jamii moja ambayo iliumia ni ya wakisi matatu zetu hazikwenda kazi mama mboga ambao wanaishi kwa wanaishi kawangware wanaishi kangemi hawakwenda kazi mimi kama mbunge na hawa wabunge wenzangu wanajua ile uchungu tumepigiwa simu tuende michango ambazo ma, magari zilivunjwa na ni za aloni na ni za wakisi So sisi hatuwezi afford kuingia kwa barabara na kuweka sufuria kwa kichwa. It is not possible. Sisi hatuwezi fanya namna hiyo. And that is why your excellency tunasema jamii hii imejitenga na jamii ya, ya kupiga watu mawe na kugoa reli. Hatutaki kukubali namna hiyo. Your excellency ya pili. Your excellency siasa yetu kidogo ilikuwa na mchanganyiko. 
nataka niombe msamaha sana on behalf ya mandugu zetu wengine ambao walikuwa kwa serikali ambao walikukosea na wakakosea mheshimiwa Rigathi mimi nakuja kwa heshima kubwa kwa niaba ya hawa wenzangu tunaomba msamaha kwa heshima kubwa ile makosa ilitokea na tumeona kweli umetusamea kwa sababu umetukumbuka ninakumbuka his excellency Rigathi Gashagwa wakati mmoja ulivamiwa uli ukashikwa ukakuwa bango and vibaya sana na nakumbuka hiyo wakati kwa sababu huko naibu wa rais ulikuja kwangu ukakuja kununua umbwa ndio iweze kwa sababu niko na umbwa nyingi ndio iweze kukaa kule kwako iweze kuchunga boma yako na ukalipa ukapata umbwa ni kidogo ukasema baada ya miezi mbili utakujia hiyo pesa hiyo ujawahi kujia nilienda kuleta nikapata GSU kwa mlango sasa nikajua kumbe serikali ibadilika sasa hiyo pesa niachie tu kwa sababu ulikuwa umeilipa but ni vizuri niseme nikiwa hapa kwetu alikuwa ananunua umbwa kwa sababu alikuwa amegandamizwa askari waliruka fence wakaenda wakamshika your excellency pia tunakuomba msamaha na tunaomba msamaha hata kwa niaba ya ule ndugu yetu ambaye alitumika vibaya ndio tuweze kushirikiana tufanye kazi pamoja kama jamii ya omogusi bila kuangalia nyuma tunaomba msamaha kwa sababu tunajua sisi ndio tulitumika vibaya lakini going forward hatutafanya namna hiyo na ishara imejionyesha ukiangalia hapa magavana wote na niwaazimio wako hapa hawaendi kule kwa maandamano wote wameamua kufanya kazi na wewe na hiyo ndiyo tunataka ndiyo tuendelee kufanya kazi pamoja bila maneno ya kuharibu vitu nyingi kwa hayo machache na mengi utakapokumbuka your excellency hao wazee wetu wote ambao kidogo walianguka na wengine wakabaki kwa heshima kubwa your excellency pia tukumbuke vijana wetu tuwapatie kazi hapa vijana wamesoma sana lakini hawana kazi hiyo ndiyo tu tunaweza omba ya mwisho kabisa kisi mzima na nyamira kwa heshima ile heshima utatupatia kabisa kwa ile jimi yako ni kutupatia airport yetu ndio tuweze kulanda hapa badala ya kulanda kule kwingine ile siku ya maandamano mimi nilifika Kisumu nikashindwa kutoka kwa airport ninaomba tupate airport yetu hapa ndio tuweze kusonga mbele your excellency thank you very much karibu sana kisi na usiwa na haraka kuondoka umekaribishwa kaa hapa hata wiki moja god bless you thank you very much asante Asante, your excellency tuko na mheshimiwa senator Onyonka Momoima dakika moja my senior Karibu karibu Mbia mole Mheshimiwa rais kazi yangu ni ndogo sana Mheshimiwa makamu wa rais you know you've been my friend for a long time hata kwa TV nilikuwa nakwambia via vile UDA amtashinda lakini ukanipeleka kwa maji congratulations governor wangu Simbarati governor Nyaribo my colleague my brother Kimani Chungwa ambaye tulikuwa naye kwa budget committee miaka mingi wale waheshimiwa wote ambao mko hapa nitasema mambo mawili tu Your Excellency, I know you for a long time. At one time, you know, I was the chairman of uh, Tanga Tanga Kisi branch. Lakini wakati ilikuwa naangalia that time, nakumbuka ilikuwa joto sana. Singeweza kujukua hilo joto. I decided, let me take a safe bet. I'm elected now. Kazi yangu, Mwishima Rais, ni kufanya oversight. Hii miradi yote ambayo unaleta I will be talking about them as the oversight officer. I'll be going around, I'll be giving you the report. From my county to your national government, continue doing the good work. I want to tell you something. And because I've been in politics now for 20 years with you, you're a good man. You have a very soft heart. I want to beg you, and I want to also beg my leader, Honorable Gashagwa, please try your level best to bring the country together. Try your level best. But I'm not asking you to go and negotiate for Nusumkate. That one, forget. Even me, I will not join the Serakali and Nusumkate. Keep Thank you. Keep your government 
continue what you're doing. Abagusi people are a people who believe in fairness, justice, and equity. So far, Your Excellency, you have shown us that you are with us. But we also voted for you. In Kisi, you did not get more than 40%. Nyamira, you got 60%. 40 plus 60 is 100%. percent I can see you are looking at me. Najua, unajua mambo ya directorship na hiyo kampuni na nini. Sasa sisi tunataka kununua share kwa serikali yenu. Karibisha sisi, tutafanya kazi na nyinyi. We are a very, very humble community because we are vulnerable. We are a community that is vulnerable because we are everywhere and we are not a big community. We will respect you, we will work with you, and we will make sure we work as a team. Your Excellencies, thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Asante, Your Excellency, Paul, to Mefikia, to Taita Kiongozi Wawengi Pungeni, Rafikiangu Kimani Chungwa, Ambae to Najuana Miakamingi, Nikika Kure Kikuyuni, Mose baba yangu baba yangu baba yake ndio aruchunga machongo mpaka akawa hivi Mose ngugi ni rafiki yangu Saidi karibu Sante CS Mashogu your excellency the president and our deputy president nakumbusho na chief whip kuna wabunge wengi ambao hawajaweza kufahamishwa kwa ngomano hili kwa hivyo nitauliza kwa heshima wabunge wale wengine wale from outside kisi tuweza kusimama ili tuwatambulishe ama mkuja tu hapa ili muonekane wajulishe tu na hayo your excellency wabunge wanapokuja hayo cs machogu wanasema ni kweli tulijuana nikiwa mtoto wa miaka nane nikiwa class 3 wakati alikuwa dio kikuyu akiwa a fresh graduate na sababu alikuja akafanya urafiki na baba yangu na baba yangu alikuwa ni rafiki ya nyayo kidogo akasaidia bwana Machogu kupitia the then assistant minister Ole Tipis Machogu akapata promotion mpaka kuwa DC na ndio leo ako hapa kama waziri na ni rafiki wetu kama familia na nimekuja pia na pongezi zake kutoka kwa mzee. Nataka niwajulishe wabunge tulioko nao nikianza pan, pande hii na Zakanyanga hapo una wave. Huyo anaitwa Mheshimiwa Owen Baya ambaye ndiye Deputy Leader of Majority National Assembly na mbunge wa Kilifi. Mbunge rafiki yetu wa Game Mheshimiwa Elisha Odhiambo ndiye huyo Shujaa wetu kutoka game. Jirani wetu kutoka Migori County, Korea East, mweshimiwa Kitayama Marwa. Mweshimiwa Senator Joyce Korir, ambaye pia ni Commissioner wa Parliamentary Service Commission. Rafiki yetu, mweshimiwa Abur, pia kutoka Migori County. Mweshimiwa Karoli Omondi kutoka Suba South. Asante, hao ndio wabunge ambao tuko nao. Naona Kipjumba Murko mena kiomba Karoli Omondi asalimiane. Mnataka msalimuwe na Karoli Omondi? Kwa daka moja tu, Karoli Omondi mesemekana wewe sababu ni jirani wa karibu. Usalimiane tu daka moja peke yake. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Deputy President. Ladies and gentlemen, siku jua nitaulizwa kuongea, lakini unajua wasuba na wakisi na wakuria ni kitu kimoja. Nafikiri hiyo ndiyo sababu nimepewa hii nafasi kuongea kidogo. Sasa ningesema, tumefurai sana kuja hapa leo, kusherekea kwa ile kiti rafiki wetu na ndugu wetu, mze machogu alipewa na rais. Mzee Machogu ni mtu mzuri sana tukienda kwake ana heshima anatusaidia na anatufanyia kazi mzuri. Your Excellency, thank you very much for appointing him. Hata na ndugu wetu pia CSO walo. Unajua kisiasa 
sisi watu wa Nyanza sasa tumekuwa kitu kimoja tunafanya siasa ukiangalia vile tumepiga kura miaka ya 20 iliyopita tuko tu kama tunaendelea kitu kimoja whether it is gusi nyanza suba nyanza kuria nyanza au ruluo nyanza na nafikiri tutaendelea hivyo lakini tutajipanga kidogo you know there'll be some other movements lakini hatutaongea saa hii kinataka tu mchunge sana mwa mkaangalia karoli yuko wapi mjue mano, mambo inaendelea wapi asanteni sana mungu awabariki Asante nimeomba huyu aongee kwa niaba ya hao wabunge wengine kutoka sehemu zingine za nchi. Your Excellency the President, mimi nimesema nimekuja hapa kupeana shukran kwa Mungu sababu mzee rafiki yetu Machogu ni rafiki pia wangu na rafiki wa wabunge wengi ambao tulifanya kazi na ye kwa bunge la 12 wakati alikuja bunge. Na nakumbuka wakati tulifukuzwa kwa committees tukiwa jubilee mimi na deputy president tulijipata kwa committee moja bunge inaitwa members welfare ya kuchunga maslahi ya wabunge na chairman wa hiyo committee alikuwa ni CS Ezekiel Machogu na akatuongoza vizuri sana na mwishowe tukaweza kushirikiana naye na tumetembea hapa hata wakati wa campaign na nijiunge na viongozi wa hapa kisi hasa yale yamesemwa na ndugu yangu Osoro na seneta wetu Richard Onyonka ya kuwa rais hawa viongozi wa kisi wanatambua na nimekumbuka nilikuwa nauliza governor pesa bado mnaita chivesa akaniambia yeye ni chivesa nikaambia hata kwetu tunasema abesha na inakaribiana sisi ni watu wa chivesa wa kisi ni watu wa chivesa na ni watu wa Ambesha na sisi huko kwetu Mount Kenya ni watu wa Ambesha. Na ndio maana mheshimiwa rais unaona hawa viongozi wote kutoka governor mpaka senator, magavana hata governor wetu wa Nyamira, viongozi wote wa Kisi wamesema lile jambo muhimu kwao. Na nimesikia hata Doris Donya akiongea hapa. Anaongea mambo ya maji ya wamama. Sababu wanajua shida ile wananchi wa Kenya wako naye na hawa viongozi wa kisi wanatambua zile shida wananchi wanaishi nazo na ndio wameona ni heri washirikiane na serikali na wafanye kazi na wananchi wa kisi na wa Kenya wengine kudumisha amani Kenya na kuhakikisha ya kuwa maendeleo yamewafikia wananchi wa kisi na Kenya mzima na niwapongeze sana hawa viongozi wa kisi sababu ameonyesha Kenya mzima the way we should be working together that after elections your excellency leaders like wananchi move on with their lives after elections even us as leaders we must allow the country to move on beyond elections and for us to be able to serve the people and deliver on what we promised to them and i am happy when our preacher this morning was preaching he read from the book of proverbs and if you read the first verse uh, in Proverbs 14:12 it says that there is a way that appears to be right but in the end it leads to death and today your excellency there is no better verse to read from that as much as our constitution guarantees us certain rights and there are ways that may be seem right in the end they may lead to deaths and your excellency i want to tell you we saw last week our constitution guarantees us the right to picket peacefully but demonstrations that are laden with hooliganism and goons that are looting and destroying our economy your excellency are ways that can only lead to death and bloodshed and i am happy with what our senator has said and i have heard what the church leaders have been asking us that you sit and negotiate and i want to subscribe to what senator richard onyonka has said do not sit to negotiate with leaders about positions of leadership sit with leaders and discuss how shall we restore our economy how shall we restore the creation of jobs and wealth 
for the millions of our youth who have no jobs. Your Excellency, nataka ni kuambie, sisi kama viongozi kwa bunge, tutashirikiana, and we shall have that conversation in the right place, in the National Assembly and the, in the Senate, where my brother Richard Nyonka sits in, so that we discuss how shall we make sure that the cost of living comes down, so that when we say food prices are coming down and are high, and we intend to bring them down, Your Excellency, we must also know and realize that as food prices come down, huyu mwananchi wa kawaida, ata chakula, bei ya chakula ishuke chini leo hii rais, mwananchi bila kupata nafasi ya kazi, hata kuwa na uwezo na mapato ya kununua ile chakula. And you cannot have an opportunity ya kupata mapato ya kununua chakula if we are also disrupting our economy na mambo ya maandamano. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I want to encourage you. Please, focus on what is important to these people who are gathered here and millions of other Kenyans. Focus on our economy that was destroyed in a few months under the handshake regime, Your Excellency. Don't focus on what leaders are asking you to focus on. Meskia wakati nimesikiza onyonka ni meskia. Even the leadership in Kisi has moved beyond the elections. Therefore, anybody taking us back to the election is taking our country back. Anybody talking to us about the cost of living and at the same time disrupting our economy with looting, with hooliganism in Nairobi. And I am glad, Your Excellency, that the leadership in Kisi are saying there are no demonstrations in Kisi and Nyamira. Lakini haitoshi kutokuwa na demonstrations in Kisi and Nyamira. Ile supermarket ililutiwa Nairobi embakasi ni ya kijana mkisi. Aliporwa mali ya zaidi ya milioni 25, ma TV, ma fridge. Na nilisikia jana mweshimua rais. Kiongozi tunamweshimu aliyekuwa prime minister. Akinilundukizia mimi maneno na naibu wa rais. Ati tunampangia. Na nikweli, tunampangia. Na tutampangia. Sababu wakati mulisafirisha yeye 2017, aliyekuwa rais wetu alifanya yeye political resuscitation. But this time, Your Excellency, sisi hatuwezi pangia yeye mambo maovu, lakini mambo ya kisiasa. Nataka ni kuhakikishie mimi na naibu wako wa rais na hawa viongozi wengine tutaendelea kupanga siyasa ya kuunganisha wananchi wote wa Kenya pamoja. But we shall not entertain bloodshed, anarchy in our country, Your Excellency. And that we shall continue to condemn without fear, without favor, and without looking at who is causing and inciting Kenyans into bloodshed and anarchy as we work together as leaders. Your Excellency, kwa hayo mengi, nataka ni ulize kwa heshima, unikubalie kiongozi wa wengi kwa nyumba la Senate, ameingia mweshimua Aaron Cheruyot, aje atusalimie. Watu wa kisi ni kirudi kiambu ni wambia kisi iko shuari. Iko amani. Na hamuna mambo ya maandamano. Munataka bei ya unga irudi chini. Na vijana wapate ya jira. Na kazi zipatikane. Na hatutaki mambo ya watu kuchochea vita Kenya yetu. Rais na ukae chonjo, wewe najua wewe siyo mtu wakuziwa uoga. Kama wakati walikuwa na deep state, au kuuziwa. Mpaka sisi ukatufanya mashujaa, tukakataa kununua uoga. Ati nisahi kweli mimi tauziwa uoga na mtu. Mimi suwezi uziwa uoga. Na nilisikia wakiambia rais ati kama nilisikia kusema kama ajui sisi naenda uliza nyayo sasa nikauliza jameni rais nyayo alienda zake na tunaheshimu waliokuwa mbele zetu na wale wametuacha na huyu rais ni mtu wa kanisa mimi najua hauna njia ya kuongea na wale wameaga wale wameondoka yeye kama hako na njia ya kuongea na wale wameenda yeye aongee na yeye lakini huyu rais hawezi ongea na wale walikufa Na kama hakujui, 
anasema ati kama humjui uulize nyayo wewe usichoke mimi nataka nimwambie leo na yeye kama hatujui wacha hiyo ananitaja taja na ndindi nyoro na huyu rigathi gashagu nataka nimwambie na yeye kama hatujui aende aulize sponsor yake anaitwa uhuru kenyata atamwambia sisi ni wale asante karibu mheshimiwa jeriot Asante uh, your excellency the president deputy president kiongozi ambaye ametuleta hapa siku ya leo cabinet secretary Ezekiel Machogu viongozi na wananchi wa Kisi county naomba ni wasalimu wote bwana Yesu asifiwe hamjambo Asante ni your excellency wakati walisema wabunge wa kutoka nje ya Kisi wasimame mimi sikusimama. Mimi natoka Kericho lakini pale inaitwa Kabianga. Kwa kikisi wanasema Kabianga. Hapo ni kisi bado lakini ule alichora map alikosea kidogo akatuweka Kericho. Sasa mimi niko nyumbani. Kwa hivyo kabla niongee nataka niwaambie karibu nyumbani hapa kisi. Sisi wa kisi tunawakaribisha. Ya pili unajua Nimechelewa kidogo your excellency sababu nilikuwa na mabarua nilikuwa napeana hapa kwa njia nilikuwa na mabarua kwa sababu zamani sisi na jamii hii tulikuwa tunaibiana ngombe sana sisi tulikuwa naiba ngombe yao lakini masomo ikatusaidia tukaenda shule tumeachana na ngombe ya wakisi lakini baada ya kuachana na ngombe ya wakisi wakisi pia wakatuanza wasichana wetu saile wanaenda university kwa kila wasichana kumi wanatoka kipsigis na kwenda university tano peke yake ndio wanarudi the rest five wanapatikana hapa kisi na tukiitisha na tukiitisha mahari wanatuambia ile mababu yenu walichukua mjilipe na hiyo sasa leo nikitoka nyumbani nilipatiwa mabarua nikaambiwa kwa kila boma ambaye iko na msichana kipsigis peleka demand notice ya kusema karibu tunakujia msichana wetu kama hamtalipa sasa mujipange kidogo so ndio maana nilichelewa kidogo mimi nataka nitoe pongezi your excellence kwa huyu rafiki yangu Ezekiel Machogu ambaye yeye alisimama gangari na wakati ambaye ilikuwa ngumu sana hasa katika kona hii kusema wewe ukiwa mwanasiasa unaweza simama na chama ya UDA. Yeye alikaa gangari akapiga moyo konde na akasema atajiza titi atawania kiti cha governor na walipelekana mbio sana na huyu rafiki yangu Simba Arati. Mwisho Simba Arati alimpita kwa kidogo tu. Na mimi niliambia Simba Arati sawa rafiki yangu usiringe sana. Yeye yako na miaka karibu 40. Huyu mzee yako sabini na kitu. Sasa nikamwambia wewe kama unashinda mzee wa miaka sabini na kura kidogo hivyo ujiulize na kama mngekuwa sabini sabini angekunyorosha mbali sana so nafikiri eh, simba hata wakati anakaa yeye yeah, anaheshimu huyu machoku sana huyu mzee alijikaza na akatupatia sura mzuri sisi kama watu wa UDA mpaka UDA kajulikana hapa kisi na kwa hiyo sisi tunampa pongezi na unajua Biblia inatuambia tuwe watu wa imani. Na kwa sababu mimi nakumbuka nilikuwa mmoja ya wale marafiki zake. Dakika ya mwisho kabisa akienda kuamua aliniuliza jambo. Akaniambia na nikienda nijaribu bahati mbaya iteleze. Mimi nikamwambia wewe wakati utakuwa unazungumza na saa hiyo ulikuwa deputy president, umuulize hiyo swali. Akaniambia wewe ulimwahidi bahati mbaya mambo yake isipopangika hapa utampanga kule juu na unaona kweli wewe ni mtu wa kuweka maneno yako you keep your word wakati mambo ya machogu hii kutengenezeka hapa kisi we ukampatia hata zaidi ya ile alikuwa anatafuta na mimi nafikiri ndio maana leo tumekuja kumshabikia kumpatia pongezi na kumtakia kila laheri wakati anapanga mambo ya masomo katika taifa letu la Kenya i have no doubt that cs ezekiel machogu will do immensely well. Mimi nimeona kwa zile siku chache 
vile amepanga kazi he is among the cabinet secretaries who every other day is out of his office visiting our children visiting our tertiary colleges and universities trying to push on the positive change that we promised in the plan which is the UDA manifesto so i have no doubt whatsoever kwamba huyu waziri in another one, two, three years down the line all those challenges ambayo sisi tulipata katika junior secondary mambo ya cbc i'm sure in a few months time he will have given us a proper roadmap so that the children of kenya will be proud as they go about the education system and it will make us as competitive as we have always been so godspeed my brother i wish you well and i know you will succeed kwa chochote chile ambacho utataka sisi katika bunge la senate tukiwa na senator wako huyu onyonka tutakupatia all our support so that you succeed mheshimiwa rais nikiingia tu ya siasa niseme kwamba ukiona mheshimiwa rafiki yangu senator onyonka akiongea vile anaongea ni kwa sababu mimi naweza nikakupa hakikisho ya kweli kwamba katika wale wameokoka yani kuokoka kisiasa yeye pia ameokoka that one i can tell you na unajua wokovu ya siasa na ya biblia karibu inafanana kama tu vile wale wa ambao walikuwa watenda dhambi wakianza kwenda kanisa hawawezi kuokoka mara moja na waache kila kitu safari moja wanawaacha moja moja kama alikuwa anavuta sigara pombe na mambo ingine anaangusha sigara kwanza kidogo pombe alafu analembeana na mambo ingine bado anaenda kanisa anapambana mpaka siku moja anakata kauli anawacha mimi na kuhakikishia mimi huwa nakaa kwa sende na mheshimiwa Onyonka mambo ya maandamano yeye hajawahi kukanyaga hata siku moja hiyo ni sign ya kuokoka ya pili tukiwa tuko na kura ambayo inasaidia wananchi unajua wale dugu zetu kwa ile chama ya ODM kwa sasa wako katika harakati ya mgomo hata saa ingine tukiwa na msaada ambayo inasaidia mwananchi kama vile unavyojua senate sisi tunapiga kura ya kutuma pesa kuja katika counties wale ndugu zetu wa ODM huwa wanasusia lakini onyonka sio mmoja wao yeye hupiga kura na anasema hata kama kuna maneno kule juu lazima kwanza nihakikishe watu wangu wakisi wako sawa alafu tutasikia ya mzee baadaye hiyo mimi nakupatia pongezi kwa hiyo ile kidogo ambayo imebaki sasa mimi najua ataokoka baka ukweli ijulikane na atasema ukweli yote ambayo ile imebakia si unajua tumpeleke pole pole tusimwarakishe sana hata kwa kanisa mtu hawezi kuokoka leo na kesho anaambua kuja hapa mbele ya uhubiri anafunzwa pole pole anaambua bible kuna new testament old testament sasa mimi najua unyonga anajifunza mambo ya UDA pole pole tu kufikia hapa mbele yeye atakuwa wale wanaelekeza jamii ya omogusi njia ya serikali na sio kuwapeleka upinzani for the 20th straight year mimi najua yeye ata kufikia hapa mbele na ameweka mkono kusema hiyo ni kweli yeye hawezi kurudia hiyo hiyo makosa tena hasa kile imebaki tu ni jambo moja mimi nilimwona rafiki yetu yule alikuwa prime minister Raila Odinga jana amekuambia usome biblia na hiyo ni mzuri najua zamani walikuwa wanatuambia talala na tibio tangu washinde kwa uchaguzi siku hizi wanasoma biblia hiyo ni mambo mzuri ambayo wameendelea hasa tutamfundisha pia yeye pole pole sababu jana amesema usome John 8:32 ambaye inasema you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free yeye alikuwa anakuambia kile tu hakujua ni kwamba kati ya wewe na yeye yeye ndiye anafaa kuambiwa ukweli amekosa rafiki mwenye atamwambia kwa masikio kwa pole pole mzee uchaguzi ilisha na ulinyoroshwa vibaya sana najua yeye baka, bado hajajua hiyo na nilisema wakati tulikuwa tunaongea wiki hii tusipojifunza tabia ya kuambia watu ukweli hata watoto wetu watajifunza tabia mbaya itafika mahali we unaona tumefanya uchaguzi imeisha vizuri matangazo yametangazwa wale walikuwa na pengine maswali wameenda kotini wameambiwa tafadhali kama kuna pale popote kulikuwa na dosari wewe tuoneshe hawakuonesha koti ikasema hiyo ni hewa moto walikuwa wameleta yani hot air ambayo walikuwa wamepeleka kotini hakuna chochote baada ya hiyo 
ati mtu anarudi kwa barabara na kusema kuna mtu amemwambia na isemekane ni nani ati yeye alishinda uchaguzi na sasa kwa sababu ya hiyo yeye anaandamana anafunga barabara anatupa mawe na kuumiza watu wa watu if we don't become a nation that is founded on the truth then we shall be setting a bad example even for our young children if we encourage this behavior i tell you the truth even young children will sit for KCP or KCSE exam na wakati matokeo yanatoka akiangalia kwa simu ya baba yake anaambiwa umepata D+ yeye anageuka na kuwa mkali sana anasema hapana hiyo ya neck mimi siamini kuna rafiki yangu mwingine ameniambia mimi niko na eh munipeleke kwa university hasa what kind of a country shall we be living surely for our nation so tafadhali let us be truthful let us be people who respect the rule of law ya mwisho your excellence eneo hili this is an agricultural part of a country sisi na jamii hii sisi ni wakulima if you go pahali mbele hapa inaitwa kaplong at 5 in the morning ama hata saa 10 asubuhi unapata malori inapanda kuelekea Nairobi imejaza ndizi miwa mboga na mambo mingi avocado hawa kisii ni wakulima the same way can be said about sisi kutoka pale Kericho wakati huyu mzee anaweka maandamano mande kama hii mande ya last week lori zinaenda zinasimama pale naro kinashindwa mahali ya kwenda na sasa unasikia ametangaza anasema anataka kufanya mara mbili kwa wiki sasa mkidurudishia chakula yetu mara mbili kwa wiki hawa jamaa wa kisii nyumbani mtakula nini jameni huyu mzee ambiwe ukweli ama asiambiwe nimewauliza ambiwe ukweli asiambiwe hasa sijui tutatuma nani kwa hii mkutano ya leo ni kama wanakuelekezea kidole wewe si barata eh, ni kama vile mimi naona hawa watu eh, wanasema wanasema wewe ni rafiki yake hasa wanasema sababu akikuja hapa kisii wewe huwa unakaribisha yeye leo jioni baada ya hii baada ya hii mkutano wewe tafuta mzee kalisha yeye chini mwambie akileta maandamano miwa ovacado ndizi na mboga ya wakisi haiwezi kuuzwa kule Nairobi kukiwa na maandamano na hawa ni wakulima watu wetu wanaumia kama hako na jambo yoyote yeye aambie rais kwa kipolepole na mwambie tafadhali nisaidie hapa na hapa sababu hata hii maneno yote wanasema ati yo Kenya nini nini nyinyi msidanganywe hawa watu wanataftia matumbo yao if you look at all the appointments they made during the time for the hunting walikuwa wanaweka watoto wao na mabibi zao kwa kazi kwa hivyo we ukiwa kijana unadanganywa ati uende kwa maandamano shauri yako we uta, kama anapenda vijana juzi wakati kulikuwa na uchaguzi ya iala angechukua hata msichana mmoja wa kikisi hapa na mlipatia yeye kura zaidi badala achukue mtoto hapa nyumbani yeye yeah, anaweka msichana yake kalonzo anaweka kijana yake wale wengine watoto wao sasa mtoto ya maskini ni wa maandamano mtoto wao wa principal ni wa kupelekwa kazi yala situwaambie imetosha hiyo ukora yao waachane naye kabisa siwaache hiyo ukora waambie ukweli wasiambiwe bas kwa hivyo hiyo imetosha Watu waelezwe ukweli, wajue Kenya imebadilika, hatutakubali kuongozwa na uongo sana. Asanteni sana na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Thank you CS. Asante rafiki yangu Aaron Chiriot. Sasa umefika wakati wa kumwarika rafiki yangu ndugu yangu mdogo Simbarati governor wa Kisi County na haya afika neno machache. Karibu to excellent governor. Uh, Your Excellency, the President, the Deputy President, marafiki zangu, wabunge ambao tumekuwa pamoja na wao, na senators, na avantuvami nito, mbiya mole, God is good, and all the time, Ntaran satigante bega de raba gani ba chirega aba gani kipa chirega ega etu ta etu to kolev na ba minto ba bo geremu aroche ba kagunse muga ko ya kaba kiregento 
Igokivago, Chaea, Baker, which in Covichons, Pacamama, and not the Baba, I can see. Moan Chaboigo. Amen. Your Excellence, Kwanza Taka and Toy Shukran, Kubwa, Kablas Yaongea, Nimuite Mwenzang, Mushmua Governor Wanyamira, Mushmua Nyaribo, Aonge Jambo Moja. Wimze. <laughs> Karim. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. Vice President. Viongozi wale water wako hapa. Na wananchi tukufu. Wairebu ya? Wairebu ya? Uh, Kwanza, President mekuja late. Yo siyo tabia yangu kukuja baada ya President. Kulikuwa na achari, maadu mtota harigongwa, nikanda kuneoshetu wafungwe parabara. Kwanza, Napongeza ndugu yangu machogu kwa kuchaguriwa. Machogu nirimujua akiwa dio na ivasha. Na kutoka hapo, tumekuwa tunajuana mbaka wakati na mimi nikawa kutoka constituency yake. Mimi nimewa kutoka nyamagesa. Iyote ni omo nyaribari. Waziri Machogu Yonta etoko raba Antomos Wagusi Ikwari Taribo Gokoreta ase no no ke Kisi County Anya nebi ndobitano Nanyamira baibitano Taribo Naki mwaki linyaiga. Mwoma nyete. Siyasa ya chenchi liye. Onye ndo kwa amo. Ndobu watine wa shetting powers. Mnomo usigo kato kwa neru ugea ye mo. Chikuro nye kwa ni milio ndo kwa kemeza. E president ina erego cha tomato enki kwa toretera. My good, to a negotiate to try and work a cura. The Kinonia Mira talk one and again now, and I know now you got an auto ire rabu, Gurucheto and Chick Cobo to Anjanir. Mutuko for rice Nikona Chambo Tatu Pekak. Go Kwanare, Yonada Kaiwe. Waja Kusumbua Rais. Waja Kusumbua Rais. Tunaongea na Rais. Yote wa tuko na maneno tatu peke yake. Kwanza Asante kwa kukucha hapa gusi. Kukana sisi, tuonge, tujuana saidi. Chano rikuwa nyamira masamawiri peke yake. Lakini tuliengeji, na tunajua utarudi. Piri, uko nyamira tumeamua kufanya kasi na raisi. Mwazikia. Kitu iko very common kwa siyasa na mupira ile muna woji ya Super League. Mutu akianguka anasema nimeibiwa. 
Na wana hawa ya mzie mbari kore la boiwa. Mutu akiwa na chesa mpira, akiangusha mwingine, kitu ya kwanza anafanya, anainua mikono. Anasema sio mimi. Mimi nataka hawa watu wa kisi county muelewe hivi. Nyamira tumeamua kuenda mbele. Atuwezi fanya kitu moja miaka yote. Mwende mketi chini, muonge, mutuite tuketi pamoja, tobe ribo erimo, we move forward together. Kio moerio, Mr. Rice, ukiwa na watoto, mmoja alisariwa kwanza, wengine wakifuata, wengine wanasariwa kitinda mimba, kama chochi wako. Si wata ni ikuwa. So, kama sisi tumekuja nyuma baada ya muu, ya uchaguzi, tumekubadu urtushinda, Waja tutembe mbele. Taribo. Na tuitu wako wote kutoka yuro wa kwanza, baka wajin, ikwari. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa wabariki. Ni gavana wa nyamira. Your Excellency ni kubalie ni watambue tu viongozo wengine Speaker wa Kisi Assembly na muona yuko hapa, Dr. Nyanumba Suju kama kuna speaker wa Nyamira yuko hapa Yuko hapa e, Wakati mingine Zoyana na Azkali Wakujue ndi wakuruusu e, Suju mingine wacha Joana na Azkali <laughs> e, Speaker wa Nyamira yuko pale Deputy Governor Nyamira, Dr. Ayuko. Eh, Dr. Deputy Governor Wakisi, Dr. Monda. Ayuko. <laughs> Unajua hapa ni kwenu. Asimama hapa uonekane. Eh, Unajua hamekua mbunge daika moja peki yaki. Tafadari. Uh, Your Excellency, the President, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, all other protocols observed. Do you want me to give you a chance? I want to give you a chance. I want to Your Excellency. I want to give you a chance to give you a chance. Kwa hivyo ningependa niseme shukrani kama msaliwa wa hapa kwa kumuchagua machogu kuwa waziri katika serikali yako. Chambo la pili, Your Excellence, meuliza kabana wangu ya kwamba anipatie nafasi ni ongeda kikamoja. Chana usiku tulikuwa kwa mkutano na mubiri wa kwanza katubiria hapo State Lodge ambaye ni makamu wa raisi wako. Haka tuambia ni nini mebadilika hapa kisi. Nimesikia leo hapa wanenaji wengi wamesema chuya wa kisi. Lakini nataka ni kukumbushe raisi ya kwamba nilipokuwa na wewe huko bungeni in the tent parliament. Tulikuwa na wewe. Hata mimi nilitembea kwa ODM wakaniangusha. Nikapitia naki nikawa mjumbe. Sasa ulipoenda file umenda. Kisi tumetembea file tumeubiriwa hapa. Nilipatia nafasi your excellence. Niseme kwa governor wangu. Maubiri ya kizidi my, my governor. Si watu badlika. Kwani tutakuwa tunaubiriwa na sisi rozetu sinakuwa ngumu na tusifuate mwenendo ya watu wetu. 
Tubadilishe mwenendo ama tuzibadilishe? Tubadilishe ama tuzibadilishe? My governor, that is the message. Asante sana. Najua. Your Excellency, nataka niseme kwamba asikie hiyo mwenendo sija nitaijua vizuri. Ah kwanza Your Excellency nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni kushukuru sana kwa dhati kwa sababu vile wananaji wengi wamesema wewe ni mtu mkarimu. Ah kiwango kwamba ndugu yetu ndugu machovu ni mzee mkubwa mnishinda miaka zaidi ya 30 na ni mzee ambaye tulishindana na yeye ndugu yangu Cheriot ni Cheriot alisema hii ama ni nani eh huyu uh, mzee ukweli kwamba tulishindana na ni mzee mzuri nilipomshinda yeye aliamua kwamba hezi simama tena lakini najiuliza kama singemshinda angekuwa CS Kwa hivyo wakati mwingine hizi vitu ziko pande mbili Eh unajua wakati mwingine kuna mibaraka mlange imefungwa dirisha imefanya nini Umefunguliwa Kwa hivyo ndugu yangu nilimshinda vizuri na ni mzee ana maneno mengi hata hakufikiria mambo ya kwenda kotini ama <laughs> sasa kusema yale mruko mimi nataka <laughs> ama kufanya maandamano <laughs> nataka najua <laughs> watu wanasema Kenya siami mambo mengi yako Kenya ni mazuri na sisi kama wazalendo wa Kenya kuna wakati nafika. Jana nilikuwa naelezea mheshimiwa rais hapa kwamba mkiwa uwanjani mtazacheza alafu timu moja kama unaenda kuscore the goal mmoja apige na mkono hivi ingie. Ref ameona ni goal na amepiga frimbi. Si hiyo ni goal. Tukubali hata kama mheshimiwa rais kivyo vyote vile yeye ni rais, tukubali yeye ni rais atuongoze tupambane na mambo mengine mbele. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme kwamba your excellency the president sisi kuna mtu mmoja hapa. Nilikwenda maombi hao watu wa Mungu. Nikaenda function moja wakati tunafanya kampeni pale karibu na stadium. Wanaimba unajua hii kanisa ya 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 spirit inaitwa ya ya kiroho Wanaimba wakifika katikati wakatoa andika chivu ya UDA Huyu <laughs> pasta huyu pasta Murwabe Huyu pasta nikaona UDA peke yake nikashindwa tena nimekuja nimekuja kubatiswa Kama uko na rafiki huyu pasta na watu wake Ah ni watu wa UDA sana Ukweli vile wengine wamesema hapa sisi tukiendelea mbele hao walikuwa kwa maombi Na shukuru kwa sababu ya maombi pia tuombe nchi yetu Lakini katika familia pia your excellence utapata mtoto mtukutu na hii biashara inaanza kutoka watoto wadogo mpaka wakubwa mpaka wazee kwa hivyo wakati mwingine let us tuwavumilie lakini waone mwangaza mbele mimi nataka nikulize tu mambo machache kwa sababu wewe uko ofisini kwa miaka tano, Mungu akipenda ukitushinda tena 2027 wewe ni rais miaka kumi. lakini usipotushinda tutakukumbuka kama rais uliyefanya kazi nzuri lakini your excellence kwa sababu ya roho yako mzuri jana nilikwambia ukweli usemwe wewe 
roho yako <laughs> nitoboe nitoboe eh hey, huyu rais unajua ukimuona kule nje utadhania ni mtu mbaya ako na roho nzuri i think kwa sababu kwa sababu pia ya ule umasikini uliokulia mpaka mahali umefika oh, Mungu abariki wewe ni mkenya mwenzetu actually tulikuwa kwa ndege moja tukija tunaangalia vile kisi iko miaka ingine 20 ikija hakuna mahali hata pa kuzika mtu and i am happy that he'll talk about it we must think outside the box especially in kis and nyamira we have no land we are sympathizing for ourselves what will happen kwa hivyo your excellency tafadhali mambo ya housing ambayo uko nayo tupange wakati mwingine umati wezi panga panga tuisukume watu wakubali Feel your excellence. Hapa mahali tuko tuko karibu na Nyangusu. Uh, mambo ya airport. Na kuna ndugu zetu pia wasironga kule. Bwana Kipchumba Mrukomen, waziri wako atatupea habari. Ni wapi ndege zitaizanguka vizuri? Ni Nyangusu ama ni Sironga? Unajua nyinyi kwa sababu mko karibu na nyangusu mtasema nyangusu. Lakini nyangusu imekuepo miaka yote. Kwa hivyo wacha tuone na itasaidia ndugu zetu wa Masaini, ndugu zetu wa Migori. Kwa hivyo your excellency mambo ya ndege tafadhali kwa miaka hii pia utusaidie. Pili ya kitu ya pili. Barabara kutoka Kisi mpaka Sotiki nataka tena niulize roho safi tu hiyo barabara imeua watu wetu wengi sana waziri wako yuko hapa uh, osoro wewe ndio huko chifu ndugu yangu ile kitu utafanya tushirikiane pamoja muhakikishe ile barabara imekuwa dual barabara hiyo barabara yo excellence ukipita hapo vile uko na magari mengi Hakuna mahali gari zinaenda. Tafadhali tunaomba na ninashukuru kwamba ulitoa yule mtu, ulisema utapiga karamu yule mtu, yule contractor. Anachimba lami na jembe. Your Excellency nataka niulize kitu cha pili kwa sababu mimi kama gavana lazima niulize haya kwa, kwa niaba ya watu wetu. Kuna hospitali kupitia University ya Kisi na ushirikiano wa karibu wa ndugu zetu wa UK ambao mheshimiwa rais tulikuwa tupewe bilioni nne uzuri kwamba cabinet yako imepitisha karibu milioni bilioni hamsini na iko hapa nyaribari tena tuko na ekari yule mzee alikuwa gavana wangu alihakikisha kwamba amepeana shamba naomba tafadhali your excellency hiyo process ianze hawa zungu there is no and you know people they are talking about it is alone it's no it's a high concession facility we are getting without interest tunaomba tafadhali hii ikiingia hapa itasaidia ndugu zetu hawa wajaluo tumeona hapa itasaidia waluya pande ile itasaidia ndugu zetu wa kale pande hii na wamasai pande hii tafadhali hiyo ni hombi tunaweka mbele yako hospitali na shukuru kwamba uli, ulikubali vyombo vya hospitali ya mother child hospital na mimi na promise kwamba nitahakisha kwamba imeisha kwa miezi tatu ijayo ndipo sanipokee vyombo vya kutibu hospitali yetu ya level 5 industrial park your excellency ulikuwa umetupea milioni mia moja na tumekubali kwamba tutapeana sisi milioni mia moja.
Kwa hivyo industrial park your excellency sisi shamba iko hapa Nyantrago na nimekumbuka pia Nyantrago tumesema tutatafuta eka ekali msini ndipo sasa tuone kama tunaweka kituo cha askari hapo ndipo sasa tuhakisha kwamba tumetengeneza mji wetu wa Kisi Town kwa sababu miaka ingine tano kumi tunataka Kisi ikue city Mungu akipenda Your Excellency kitu ya mwisho nataka niulize Of course hii umekubali Gusti Stadium Najua ulinisomea ukaniambia Simba hii stadium nilikuwa nakatazwa kufanya mikutano Mlinifungia nikakwambia sasa wewe ni rais sahau yaliyopita tugange yajayo Tafadhali hiyo <laughs> stadium nataka kwamba wewe itengeneze najua deputy rikiji utasema mambo ya shares <laughs> deputy president tulikuwa na yeye bungeni alikuwa ananiambia simba hii kitu hata mko na deep state tutashinda nyinyi nikamwambia hapana bwana huwezi tushinda lakini you proved us wrong kwa hivyo tunakubali tunasema yaishe to peleke inchi yetu mbele. Your Excellency nataka nimalizie hapo kwa kukuuliza kitu cha mwisho. Kuna barabara nyingi ambazo zipo na zimekwama. Ama happy that we had this discussion yesterday especially zile ambazo which were owned ama were awarded to mtu anaitwa Silicon. Na katolewa. Leo tumetoka Marani, I'm happy tumefungua barabara ya Marani na niulize watu wangu kwa umoja tu najua una nimeambiwa kwamba mheshimiwa rais sijui kama ni ukweli kwamba kando yeye kuzaliwa kule Rift Valley kwao ni hapa kwa hivyo ndugu deputy president Rigiji unapoongea ni kwa nini ana hata kama hatukupigia yeye kura yote anaegemea jua kwamba ni kijana wetu pia pia vijana unajua i, kuna ile kitu inaitwa sibling rivalry kwa hivyo wakati unaona kwamba tumekosana kidogo ni ile two space tulikuwa tunatafuta kwa hivyo your excellency tafadhali because hapa ni nyumbani sisi tuko pamoja tutashirikiana nitaongea na baba <laughs> Ntaongea na baba. Uh, tukae chini. Uh, baada ya yeye tuongee na yeye ndipo sasa tujenge taifa. Mimi kabla sijaingia ODM, Mr. President you are in ODM. Wewe ile kura ya 2 what? 207 niliona vile ulikuwa na joto KICC hakuna mtu angekuzuia lakini sasa ODM pia kwa upande mwingine tumepata rais hii <laughs> hii hii ODM najipigia kifua mimi hawa ndio walianzisha kwa hivyo mimi ni mimi naomba tafadhali Niliambia His Excellency jana kwamba unajua kama sisi unajua tulikuwa deep state nini kila kitu kama tungewashinda nyinyi mngekuwa barabarani lakini rais akasema hapana sisi hatujafanya maandamano hata wakati mlikuwa na handshake nikaona mwangaza na kisi tunasema kwamba sisi tuko na chakula tuko na miwa njaa haiko sana kisi kwa hivyo sufuria hatutabeba kichwani lakini ile sufuria tumeacha watu wako na njaa kule Nairobi wabebe lakini tunaomba kwamba yoyote kwa sababu maandamano yafanywe kwa amani nchi zote nyingi zinafanya maandamano lakini sio ya kuharibu mali ya wananchi kwa hivyo maandamano yoyote ambayo yatafanyika nataka ni seme lazima yafanyike kwa kadri na sheria za inchi 
mali maisha ya mwananchi yasiharibiwe kwa sababu tukiumiza mwananchi hata mmoja kama vijana wetu ambao wanafanya biashara Nairobi your excellency we are the leading in the matter to industry in other business as actually unania ameisema vizuri sana cheri yote maandamano yakifanyika Nairobi mboga yetu yote inaharibikia wapi Narok tafadhali tunaomba kwamba waandamanaji lazima tukue pia na nidhamu kubwa wakati wa wote ule Mheshimiwa Rais nataka nimalizie hapa lakini nataka nitoe shukran zangu za dhati kwa kumpea mzee machovu kit cha elimu Umepea watu wengi unajua mpaka tunaona hivi kwamba wewe ulipeana nyingi eh, dada yetu hapa uh, Millicent Omanga unaona amekula kama kisi sisi ndio kisi sasa kumuona hii <laughs> ndio kisi <laughs> eh, na wale wengine wote ndugu Mangi uh, dep, aliyekuwa deputy governor ndugu yangu asante sana na mheshimiwa president choe matoke yanatoka hapa nilikuomba jana na ukakubali utapea kitu atembee tafadhali tutashukuru sana asanteni tika tikaambo uliyeke kusi mogo ogete e president irega kabisa tika tubuatirane na barai bande bons trosi gusiye eto na kenya ngima mbia mono nyasae abaseseni Asante sana your excellency kwa kimira yetu wakisi tunaheshimu wase sana tuko na elders wetu Mose Steve Menge Mahinda ndio patron Mose Charles Kangwana Mose John Simba Mose Matundura Raka tulisema tu kwa dakika moja Charles Kangwana dakika moja peke yake tafadhali fika hapa tu ili utupatie idini ndio kikao kwa kimira yetu ijulikane kwamba washe wametoa idini charred na kamoja peke yake thank you our beloved president his Excellency William Samui Ruto, our debut pre president, regarding the war, our host, we together, our host, who is none other than Ezekiel Machogu, um, who happens to be my son. And so I'm very proud to be up here, uh, my son. Other CSs, our governors, our MPs, all the dignitaries present here, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Our host and CS for education, Ezekiel Machogu, thank you for the honor and privilege of affording me the opportunity to address His Excellency on this auspicious occasion to celebrate your appointment to the high office of minister. Your Excellency, political leaders have spoken and they have underlined the fact that as leaders, political leaders, they are now united completely and solidly to work with you. And uh, I stand here as uh, a patron to the elders, Council of Elders of the community of Abagusi to state that as elders, we would like to support you will work with you 
And so when you are dealing with political leaders, uh, because they have different views, different ideas, and sometimes a competition of ideas, when it comes to elders in Kisi, you can rest assured, we are with you. So our work kusumbua sana, tafadhali, President, tuku. Tuite tu, tutakucha, tutalainisha awa. Tutalainisha awa. And to your excellency, and I'd like to, on behalf of my fellow patrons, and on behalf of the Council of Elders, if you could stand please for a minute, so all of you, so rise on Nikunawatu, we have people. So these people, your excellency, they hold the community together. And with them, you can't go wrong. Thank you very much. We want to welcome you, Your Excellency, as one of our elders. In the suburb, Kubwa, I am going to ask you to ask me. Yes, I And at an appropriate time, we will undertake ceremonies to welcome you into the community. Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, one more point. Elders have no request just to work with you. One more point, Your Excellency. I know you since the 80s, since the 80s, and I've watched you walk the hard way. I'd like to tell my people here the president is a, a focused person. The president is a thinker. The president thinks out of the box. So the issues you have been airing about the economy, this economy, I'd like to assure you, because I know his excellence for many years, if there is one person in this country who can fix our economy, you don't have to go anywhere else. God has given us the right person. <laughs> Your Excellency, in one year's time, if I'm proven wrong, I'd like to come here and apologize to our people. But I would like to emphasize that I know the president, together with his hardworking deputy president, they will fix this economy. And we shall look forward to that, Your Excellency. And with those few remarks, do welcome to Kise and feel at home. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Asante, Your Excellency. Kuna wenset wengine ambao mefika, PS World Trade, Arifred Kobudo, yuko hapa, asante kwa kufika. Your Excellency, wale tunafanya kasi pamoja, Chief Executive Officers, Senior Officers in the Government, particularly in the Ministry of Education, Walter Wako Hapa, Vice Chancellor Asinimawaona Hapa Wengi, Mwesimua Akama, Vice Chancellor Yuko Hapo, Vice Chancellor wa Nairobi, the University of Nairobi, Professor Kiyama, Yuko Hapa, na wengine wengi. Yo Excellence ningetaka ni seme tu mawiri kwa dakika moja ya kwanza ni kutoa shukurani kubwa kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ile nafasi ambayo amekupatia kuwa na, kuwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na kupitia kwako na kwa uwezo wake Mungu kunipatia nafasi kutumikia wa Kenya kwa serikali yako kama waziri wako wa elimu hiyo ni heshima si kwangu peke yangu lakini kwa jamii ya hapa kusii hakima wogete salia mashkani manana saba kusii mheshimiwa rais mimi usema mungu tenda maajabu miaka 65 iliyopita tarehe 22 mwezi ya tisa mwaka 58 wasewa hiki chichi walisudia 
kitu ambaye ilikuwa ni maajabu Mse Umbaki aka ndio alitawashwa kuwa chief siku hiyo na siku hiyo akitawashwa kuwa chief siku hiyo hiyo ndio macho wakasariwa Wase wanajua ndio macho wakaitwa mtawara kutoka siku hiyo Your Excellency ningetaka ni kuhakikishia kitu moja wakati Yesu Kristo ambaye ndio mwokozi wetu alichagua wale watume wake alichagua alichukua watu kawaida jura ambayo umechukua kama waziri wako wa helmu ni mtu kawaida lakini wale waliweza kufanya fitu ya si ya kawaida kwa uwezo yake Mungu na mimi kwa ushirikiano na wale ambaye umepatia mimi katika ministry ya education na wakikisia ya your excellency nitafanya bidii nitakushauri kwa kila njia na kwa uwezo wake Mungu yule naomba kila wakati elimu tutaipeleka katika sehemu nyingine ambayo ikuwa naye tutaipeleka mbele kwa uwezo wake Mungu na kwa ushauri wako your excellency ya pili your excellency ambaye ningetaka kutoa shukurani kubwa uliweza kutembea area hii umefanya arambe katika kanisa hapa constituency hii unakumbuka makanisa yote ya SDA Your Excellency ulituma Deputy President hapa tulifanyia mkutano hapa kwa hii kanisa ya Gesusu ukatuma elimu mia sita. tena ulinipatia elimu mia tano, nikaenda kanisa nyingine iko hapa karibu inaitwa Kerubu Your Excellency tulikuja na wewe ukajenga mashure kanisa ya Catholic ukatupatia milioni tatu. Your Excellency ukaja uka commission parapara ya kutoka kure Katengareiri Ramasha mpaka Riumbaso tena wakisi wakasema kwamba ndio asante umetufadhisa sati lakini nakumbuka wakasema iko kitu moja wakasema tumefaa sati lakini wanaonge trosa kuna wakasema kwa jamii kimira ya wakisi lazima mwanaume afae kisuruali pamoja na sati si ndio mlisema your excellence tunashukuru kwa sababu ile yote ilisimama kwa uwezo wake Mungu tuko na imani ya kwamba sasa itaendelea mwisho your excellence unakumbuka ria trimba hilo ulikuwa nasema kila wakati ile tv tiko hapa karibu ukasema milioni moja itolewe lakini wale wengine wakasimamisha wakati uliweka mimi kama wasiri wako tumetoa milioni mbili kule inaendelea na hivi karibuni utakuja kuifungua kwa hayo mengi your excellency mimi na wenzangu katika ministry ya education tunakuhakikishia kwamba yote iko sawa mimi kwa uwezo wa Mungu yule ambaye naomba yule Mungu mmoja sitaanguza wewe your excellency mimi sitakuaibisha mimi sitaibisha jamii ya umu kusii na wakisii tumekubali tutafanya kwa umoja tutaheshimiana na utaona ile upendo ambayo tutakuwa nayo kwenda mbele na kama nilisema juzi tulipata si lakini kwenda mbele utapata e mwanjire kujimoto nyore e mwanjire ngomurangu noyo masubiri ya msamae ruto ka kingoro kinga maoko iga aro kinga maoko iga sasa kwa heshima kubwa tumukaribishe naibu wa rais wa jamhuri yetu ya Kenya rigati gachewa aweze kutuongeza na kumkaribisha isexan the president of the republic of Kenya asante sana kiongozi wetu wa jamhuri ya Kenya rais na amri jeshi mkuu daktari William Samoe Ruto host wetu waziri wetu Ezekiel Machogu na familia yako magavana wetu hapa Kisi na Nyamira viongozi wale wote wamefika hapa siku ya leo mawaziri makatibu wabunge maseneta 
wakaji wa hapa kisi na nyamira biamuri hamjambo god is good and all the time ni salimieni kwa hapo bwana yesu asifiwe asante sana mheshimiwa rais tumekuja hapa tukikusindikisha katika hii ibada ya shukrani ya kumwambia Mwenyezi Mungu asante kwa yale mema ametendea huyu mtoto wenu waziri machogu kwa kuteuliwa kuwa waziri wa elimu katika serikali ya William Samoe Ruto na tumeshukuru sana kwa makaribisho na tumefurahia sana yale mazungumzo yamekuwa hapa kwa viongozi hasa kwa hii jamii ya omgusi mimi na kemani chongwa tunafurahia sana tukiwa hapa kwa sababu pale sisi tunatoka katika mlima Kenya tabia zetu na mambo yetu yote inafanana na ya jamii ya omgusi nyinyi mnajua sisi ni watu ya kutafuta hii si mnatafuta hii sisi hapo ndio tunakuanga kwa kutafuta hii na ndio tulimunga huyu rais William Ruto Mkono alipotueleza hako na mpango vile tutapata hii si unajua hii ni sabuni ya roho si ni mvuja mlima sasa nyinyi watu ya kisi tunaheshimu nyinyi sana we respect this community mzee wenu marehemu ya chai alitoa bibi pale kwangu pale naitwa Kiwarigi ameleta ile damu ya wakisi ya kutafuta mali mama ameleta damu ya wakikuyu kutafuta mali mali imejaa kwa boma na sisi tunaheshimu nyinyi sana kwa sababu nyinyi ni watu ya kujenga na kutafuta mali na biashara kununua matatu kujenga manyumba na kufanya mambo makubwa na kwa hivyo sisi tukiwa hapa tuko nyumbani shida tu tungetaka tunue shamba hakuna lakini tunaheshimu nyinyi sana na ile tu inatushangaza na ndio atuelewi sisi pale kwetu tunatepeanga na watu wanatafuta mali kama sisi watu ya kuchunga mali watu ya kupanua biashara watu ya kupanua kilimo na watu ambaye wanaheshimu mali kwa sababu kutafuta mali ni kibarua na sisi tukipata mali tunachunga tukiona mtu yeyote ambaye kazi yake ni kuharibu mali mambo yake tunakataa na ndiyo umeona rais huru Kenyatta mtoto wetu wa nyumbani tulimpenda sana mpaka wa leo tunampenda ale tuletea ile mzee ya kuharibu mali tukamwambia bwana simulizikia tukamwambia wezakani huyu mzee kazi yake ni kuharibu mali mwaka wa 1982 aliingia Nairobi akajaribu kupindua serikali ya Moi watu wakauawa mali ikaharibiwa akarudi hapo 1997 akaleta fujo akaharibu mali 207 akaharibu mali 2017 akaharibu mali. Juzi Jumatatu ameingia Nairobi. Hakuna maandamano ilikuwa hapo si Barati. Hakuna maandamano ya amani. That does not happen anywhere in this country. Ile maandamano amepanga mwaka hamsini. Hakuna hata moja ilikuwa ya amani. Na hakuna maandamano ilikuwa hapo. Ilikuwa ni mambo ya kuharibu mali. Mali imeharibiwa Nairobi ni ya watu wenu na watu wetu. Matatu zote hawaendi kazi. Manyumba wamechoma. Biashara wameharibu. Siku nzima hakuna kazi inaendelea. Sasa nyinyi watu ya kisi. Niulize nyinyi swali. Eh? Kwani mlikosa mtu ya kutembea na yeye ambaye anaheshimu mali? Huyu mzee akuharibu mali mlikuwa na biashara gani na yeye? Kwa sababu yeye ni mtu ya kuharibu mali. 
Sasa hii Nairobi na Kuru mmechukua karibu yote. Manyumba huko 58 mmejenga. Kila pahali ni nyinyi. Huko Rongai Nkoroi mmejaza manyumba. Hata nilikuwa na piloti hapo mmenisukuma na ni sawa. Biashara ya matatu mmetufukuza na ni sawa kwa sababu mko na BD. Sasa huyu mzee amepanga kuharibu mali Nairobi. Na nyinyi ndio wenye Nairobi na mumenyamaza. Hata Simba Arati aongee hii maneno ya maandamano. Hasemi pali yako. You are not clear on this matter. You are not clear Simba Arati. You should be clear. Are you for maandamano or you are against maandamano? Aseme asiseme. Kwa sababu tunataka kusikia tunataka kusikia sauti kutoka hapa kisi na Nyamira mukisema ya kwamba hii mpango ya Jumatatu na Jumaine na, na Aramisi ya kuharibu mali mnapinga huyu mzee ameharibu mali hapo Nairobi ya wakisi na wakikuyu na wengine ameona ile mali imeharibiwa amesema haitoshi hii mali haitakiwi iharibiwe siku moja kwa wiki inataka iharibiwe siku ngapi hii ndio mtu mlikuwa mnapigia kura ni hesabu gani mlikuwa mnapiga mimi niulize nyinyi Uyu William Ruto rais wetu ametembea hapa more than 200 times. Amejenga kanisa SD hajajenga. Amejenga Catholic hajajenga. Amejenga kanisa za kiroho hajajenga. Amejenga madarasa hajajenga. Amenunua basi ya shule hajanunua. Uyu mzee wa kitendawili amejenga kanisa ngapi? Iko pahali amenunua basi ya shule. Iko kanisa amejenga? Sadaka ametoa? Fungu ya kumi zianapinga? Nyinyi wa kizii kura yenu mnapeanga hii mzee kulipa yeye nini? Hatuelewi nyinyi. Tunashukuru kwa ile kura mlipatia William Ruto na tunasema asante. Lakini tunasema hata nyinyi mkuu angwana. Bora yule amesaidia nyinyi amejenga makanisa, amejenga shule, amesaidia kina mama siku ya kutoa zawadi ikifika mnatunukia yule hakuna kitu amefanya mnapunguzia yule ambaye amefanya kazi are you fair are you fair lakini mimi siku anaelewa kwa sababu si unajua mimi ndio mtu ya share pale kwa serikali ya William Ruto sasa serikali yake gawa mimi naingia na calculator naweka hapo na tunakubaliana namwambia mkubwa sasa wale walipanda wavune kwanza wale hawakupanda wata, watavuna lakini wango lakini mimi nimeelewa leo kwa nini rais amenilalia rais my brother umenilalia kwa hiyo wakisi what you have given them is five times their rightful share kwa serikali yako na mimi nimeelewa rais ni mtoto wenu hapa na ndio labda amependelea nyinyi i want to tell you as a community this man william ruto our president has a good heart a big heart and he loves this community and i want to demonstrate his love and respect for this great community by showing you the men and women he has brought in his government to assist him in the management of the affairs of this great country despite the fact that majority of you did not believe in him you believed in that mandamano man na dio sasa kutoka hapo mjipange si manduku amesema mzuri tufungue shares e shares in another four years itafunguliwa nyinyi sasa mtafika pale na kengele kengele ikipigwa muamue mnataka shares ngapi Iko preferential shares iko ordinary shares lakini rais mimi nimekubaliana na wewe wacha tuchunge hii wakisi wacha tuachunge lakini rais kufanya makosa si mbaya ubaya ni nini next time wakikosa kukata shares ya kutosha rais tutawapimia viti kuligana na shares yao lakini for this time round kwa sababu ni watu yako tumekubali 
Unataka ni muoneshe viongozi katika hii serikali. Tuanze na CS, Solicitor General, Chairman of Boards, Directors and Chairman of Parliamentary Committees in the Senate and the National Assembly. Kujani hapa. Solicitor General, CAS, Chairman, wale wameteuliwa na President William Ruto. Kujani hapa. Yeah. Chief Whip. Unnominated. Dio muona hizi rekali ni enu. And as a community, you have a responsibility to protect this government because this is your government. Hii ni rekali enu. Tukiwa hapa. Waziri. Naona hata nyimu umeshangaa. Waziri wa elimu. Wizara ya elimu inachukua 27% of the national budget. Wizara ambaye ni kubwa zaidi ambaye iko na makatibu watatu. CAS watatu na inachukua pesa yote ya Kenya more than 25%. Rais huyu wetu William Ruto kwa mapenzi yake kwa jamii ya Omgusi akiamini ya kwamba mlipotoshwa na kupatiwa uongo akasema hata wacha nyinyi nyuma amepatia huyu Ezekiel Machogu huyu mtoto wenu pigeni makofu na mimi nataka niseme nikiwa hapa kati ya rais na mimi na sisemi hivyo kwa sababu yu waziri yako hapa he is one of the best performing cabinet ministers in our government. Na huyu Ezekiel Machogu mimi namjua kutoka zamani. Tulikuwa madio pamoja. Tulikuwa na fire uniform. Na alikuwa mkubwa wangu. Akiwa DC Nyandarwa nilikuwa dio. Amefanya kazi Kirinyaga alikuwa dio pale Kichogo. Ametoka hapo amekuwa Kiambu pale Kikuyu. Ametoka hapo dio pale tetu Nyeri. Amekuwa DC pale Nyandarwa. Huyu sisi watu ya Mount Kenya tulimpenda. Mashamba ya Nyandarwa dio huyu aligawa kwa jia ya usawa. Na ni kiongozi ambaye ni wa kitaifa. Na mimi nataka kuuliza nyinyi jam, jamii ya Omgusi. Muunge huyu waziri mkono. Huyu huyu Ezekiel Machogu ataongoza nyinyi, apeleke nyinyi pahali mzuri. Kwa hivyo mjipange na yeye, mweshimu, mumusikize, yeye ni mzee, yeye ni waziri, ako na experience ya kutosha, this man can lead this community into greatness and prosperity. Mujipange na yeye. Kachi ni waziri. Kutoka hapo, tuko na masie yes, abaye tumegawa juzi. Ata kama shea zienu ilikuwa kidogo, Huyu rais wetu kwa kupenda nyinyi amempatia naibu ya mawaziri watatu. Huyu Joash Mangi huyu ni Chief Administrative Secretary pale katika Wizara ya Mashauri ya Kigeni. Dio rais amempatia kazi kuzunguka dunia nzima atafute soko ya chai ya majani chai ya avocado ya mandizi atuletee hapa huyu Joash Mwangi lakini hapo mbele Joash ukue muti ya msimamo saa ingine kuna saa ingine alikuwa ameomba omba kidogo si ndio lakini kwa sababu rais ni mtu ya heshima akasema ni sawa at least pale tulihitaji ye kwa ile kwa ile mbio ilikuwa naitwa 440 Kuna ile kona inaitwa ya 220 alikuwa na sisi. Si unajua ile kona ya pale? Hiyo kona ni muhimu sana. Katika kona ya 220 alikuwa na sisi ndio waziri mpigia ni makofi. Huyu mrembo huyu. Huyu Millicent Omanga alisimama na sisi pale Nairobi. Hata kama hakupata na alikosa tu kidogo siasa ya ukabila iliingizwa kidogo. 
na hii wapi azimio hawa kina harati huyu <laughs> mtoto huyu Millicent Omanga na hapa ndio nyumbani alichangia kiasi kikubwa ushindi wa rais wetu katika Nairobi na ni msichana ambaye ni mfanyikazi alikuwa anatembea usiku na mchana hata kama alituangaisha kidogo kumpandisha juu ya gari na kumtoa na ni sawa <laughs> alitusaidia na dio rais wetu amempatia kazi kubwa sana wizara ya utawala na usalama dio mdogo ya profesa Kithure Kindiki atusaidie sasa wewe Millicent Omanga siku ya Jumatatu uvae jeans na raba ile mzee ya maandamano akipanga kuharibu mali ya watu utoe makucha wewe tunakujua mnataka afanye asifanye afukuza hii watu wanaharibu mali pigieni hema kofi huyu <laughs> Vincent Kemozi huyu kutoka hapo Nyamira Mugirango ni wakili shupavu tulikuwa na yeye katika kamati na alisimama na rais wetu na akasimama na haki na yeye ni mwerevu saa ile matiangi alikuwa anamwambia nyinyi atikura atikupigwa haina maana wenye kuhesabu dio wako na maana huyu wakili aliona mbele akasema afadhali kiti yake ipotee huyu rais akipata atapanga ye mbele na apange watu ya nyamina na watu ya kisii dio chief administrative secretary wetu pale katika ministry ya investment trade and industry mpigieni hema kofi tuko na huyu Shadrack Mose wa pale masaba na huyu ni wakili shupavu hii kiti imekuwa na Kennedy Ogeto mtoto wenu na rais kwa hiari yake na kupenda nyinyi na kumtambua huyu umaarufu wake katika sheria na hii kiti ni ya maana sana sheria yote ya Kenya mikataba yoyote ya kitaifa ni huyu mtoto wenu rais amepatia hiyo mamlaka na kwa hivyo atakuwa pale akisaidiana na attorney general kwa sheria yote ya Kenya na rais amemwaminia hiyo kazi na ni mtoto wenu mpigieni makofi katika wapi chifu hapa huyu kijana huyu huyu Silvanas Osoro huyu kijana mwili ni kidogo lakini akili mingi zaidi tena huyu ni dume huyu alikuwa kama mimi anashikwa kila friday na kufugiwa ndani na huyu kijana rais amemwaminia kazi ya pale bunge ya kitaifa ndio wanasaidiana na kemani ichongwa kupitisha miswada yote ya serikali kukinga program zote za rais William Ruto na serikali ya Kenya kwanza na ni mtoto wenu na mimi nataka nimwambie nyinyi huyu kijana vile rais na mimi tumempima mbele iko sawa kwa mbambo yake huyu kijana waacha rais na mimi tumulee pole pole si ndio si tumulee pole pole tumwagie yeye fertilizer aende haraka Unataka wewe fertilizer na ile for your feet huyu kijana kwa sababu rais na mimi tumeamua kujenga vijana na kutayarisha vijana wetu wa pale mbele hapa katika kisii kijana ambaye tunamulika pale mbele ambaye tunataka kumsaidia na nyinyi mumsaidie ni huyu Sivanas Osoro pigieni hema kofi tuko na bwana Nyamoko Huyu Bwana Nyamoko kutoka hapa Nyamira. Huyu ni mwanaume. Alikuwa na uziwa uoga. Anaambiwa ati ataibiwa kura na machifu na polisi na system na matiangi na nani. Yeye akasema atasimama na Rais William Ruto. 
na wakasema hata kama ataanguka hakuna shida rais atampanga mbele lakini wale watu wa pale wakamchagua rais amempatia kiti kikubwa ndio chairman wa kamati ya mashamba katika jamhuri ya Kenya na mambo yote ya title deeds na mambo ya mashamba ni huyu mtoto wenu Nyamoko ako naye mpigieni ya makofi wapi hii kijana Zaila hata huyu si mnajua yeye huyu kijana huyu atukupatia ye chairman nataka tulete pole pole tuweke fertilizer ama tungoje awekerewa fertilizer aende haraka huyu kijana Zahil wa pale town Kisi rais amepatia nafasi katika kamati ya barabara kwa sababu ya shi, ile shida mko nayo hapa katika Nyamira na Kisi mambo ya barabara zenu na zingine za wakenya aangalie mpigieni makofi tuko na huyu alfa meruka ako wapi huyu kwa sababu hapa wa kisimu umekuwa watu ya digital mambo ya kisasa ya mtandao huyu ndio vice chairman wa kamati ya ICT katika bunge la kitaifa na atashikana na waziri Edward Owalo na watu ya ICT akisha ya kwamba mtandao imeingia kila pahali katika Nyamira na katika Kisi na kwingine kwa Jamhuri ya Kenya mpigie ni makofi huyu nyakundi mnajua ye kijana mdogo ndio alingoa hii mzee Jimmy Yangwenyi alikuwa hapo karibu miaka 20 na kitu pigieni ye makofi alijaribu sana huyu <laughs> kijana kwa sababu tumetengeneza chama cha UDA itakuwa chama kubwa na iko na nguvu tumefanya mabadiliko na rais amepima mtu ambaye anaweza aaminiwa pesa ya chama ambaye anaweza chunga pesa tukaona ni mtu hapa umsi kwa sababu mnaelewa mambo ya hizi mnaelewa mambo ya hii kwa hivyo treasure wa chama cha UDA mmeingia UDA ama mngali mko UDM wapi watu ya UDA nione kwa mkono UDA UDA huyu <laughs> ndiye national treasurer wa chama chetu cha UDA mpigieni ye makofi kutoka hapo tuko na aliosimama pale gavana Walter Nyambati yako wapi huyu sasa pia dio chairman wa Jodhamo Development Company umeme ule tunategemea kubadilisha ule umeme unatoka kwa maji huyu Walter Nyambati rais amempatia kama chairman ndio anasimamia pigieni makofi wapi professor Vincent Machuki huyu kijana huyu mnamjua Vincent Machuki rais ako na timu ya vijana wataalamu ya uchumi na kilimo na biashara ambaye wanamshauri mara moja kwa wiki anaketi na hao kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni wakikaa chini na yeye na kumshauri na huyu mtoto wenu Vincent ni wale ni kati ya wale rais amewaaminia kumshauri mambo ya kiuchumi mpigieni makofi kutoka hapo tuko na Julius Ogamba ako wapi Ogamba ako fika ni sawa yeah. oh ameenda pale kupanga chakula si ni sawa ama mpange tu kule tunaweza fanya kazi hiyo tutukose chakula so ogamba pia ni chair wa Kenjen pigieni ye makofi alafu kutoka hapo tuko na Duke Mainga Echate huyu kijana mnamjua huyu ndio chair ya board of trustees ya commodities fund mambo ya mandizi avocado makadamia na yale mazao yote yanatoka hapa katika jamhuri ya Kenya 
rais wetu amemwaminia huyu kijana. Pigeni hema kofi. Wapi Joswin? Huyu mama huyu mkulima wa maziwa katika Kenya Dairy Board ambaye inatengeneza sheria na kuchunga mambo ya maziwa. Si nyinyi wakulima ya maziwa? Huyu mama Joswin Mora ni board member wa Kenya Dairy Board. Mpigie ni makofi. Tuko na Teresa Oro. Butuko. Huyu mama mnamjua. Naye pale katika Lake Basin Development Authority. Mambo kupanga pale, mambo ya karibu na ziwa. Ni huyu mama ni board member mpigie ni makofi. Pia Helen Makone ako wapi pia ye hapo ni board member katika Lake Basin Development Authority mpigieni makofi Wapi daktari Jacob Jacob ako Jacob kwamba ni wewe Jacob Huyu mungwana mtoto wenu hapa ako na ujuzi wa elimu tumeomba atusaidie na ujuzi wake kwingine amewekwa university council ya Meru university atoe ujuzi hapa kisi akasaidie wadugu wetu Meru pigieni hema kofi Geoffrey Noa Angwenyi ako wapi Geoffrey haya huyo pia tumeweka pale KCC mambo ya maziwa Amos Adama huyu mungwana huyu mtoto wenu ni board member wa kamati ya NEMA mambo ya environment ako pale akiwakilisha nyinyi na akisaidia watu ya Kenya mbigieni ya makofi tuko pia retired chief justice ayuko hapa Justice David Kenani Maraga pia dio rais alimpatia nafasi kuongoza kuchukua maoni na kufanya mapendekezo ya mabadiliko katika National Police Service dio hao polisi hawa wapangiwe maneno yao wapewe mshahara ya kutosha wakunywe chai nyumbani kwa mabibi zao wawache kunywa chai kwa barabara hawa wapangiwe maneno yao na wabadilike pia si hao polisi mngetaka tuongeze mshahara na tunataka hao polisi David Maraga akipendekeza wakiongezwa mshahara pia wakuwe marafiki ya raia wakipatana na wewe usiku kama unaenda nyumbani umetafuta moja bili ya kutafuta usingizi ukielekea nyumbani wakikuweka land cruiser kuliko wakupeleke polisi wakupeleke nyumbani kwa bibi yako ukapumzike pia tuko na senator gloria huyu amekuwa nominated pale kwa senate na rais alisema nyinyi wa kisi mlikuwa mmefinya wa mama sana sasa rais akasema atajaribu kuainua amenominate huyo mama aende pale kwa senate kutoka hapa kwenu kwa sababu ya pepenzi yake kwa jamii hii ya Omgusi pigieni ya makofi na kuna senator SP ameenda pale kupanga panga pale tutakaa kutoka hapo tuko na nani mwingine Nyambane wapi yake ni gani? Board director ya Communication Authority huyu Nyambane ni board member hapo mpigieni makofi. Huyu Joyce Nyambuto ni commissioner Public Service Commission mpigieni makofi. Anne Makori Aipoa mambo ya kuchunguza polisi wakizidisha nguvu ndiye ako hapo mpigieni makofi 
youth fund tuna huyu Josiah mtoto wenu pigeni ya makofi Bobby Dumbe Kisi University Council ako member hapo pigeni ya makofi Mike Monari Kenya Literature Bureau pigeni ya makofi Huyu anasema alibeba bendera ya UDKC na haja pewa kazi angekuwa hapa. Kwa hivyo rais huyu amejileta lazima tumpange. Amesema <laughs> Tumpange ama tuachane na yeye. Apangwe au sipangwe? Si amejileta mwenyewe? Aya sawa ona wasidi pale peana jina rais atakupanga. National Research Fund Professor Mecheka mtoto wenu hapa pigeni ya makofi Geoffrey Monari CEO University Fund pigeni ya makofi Huyu ni wa Central Bank bwana Nyaoga chairman pigeni ya makofi Si huyo mnajua Kennedy Ogeto. Alikuwa pale kama Solicitor General. Rais amesema vile Shadrack Mose amechukua hataki kuacha hao watu wetu wa Kisii nyuma. Amempatia kazi ya kumshauri mambo ya kisheria katika ikulu. Pigeni ya makofi. Huyu ako pale Food and Agricultural Authority kama acting CEO pigeni ya makofi. Uyu ni director kwa immigration pigia ni makofi. Yatibo. Ah, wewe si ukuja unitafuta tunajuana. Sasa uyu, si munajua uyu? Lakini ya mekula bizuri. Uyu ya kuna aja kumpanga. Si yako sawa? Sasa anasema uyu yako najaa kweli? Sagero si munamujua? Tulikuwa na edio zamani, alikuwa uko kwa totoman. Lakini una, unakaa sawa. Watoto wanakufa bwana. Tu apangwe asipangwe. Lakini si ataendelea zaidi. Haya, <laughs> Sandy sana thank you very much. Mheshimiwa Raisa Sandy kwa kutupatia nafasi. Wakisi muko sawa au muko sawa? Kwa serikali ya William Ruto muko ndani au muko? Muko ndani au muko? Na hayo ni mapenzi ya rais. Rais anapenda nyinyi tafadhali ninaomba nyinyi hapo mbele huyu rais ameonesha kwa ishara ako na heshima na hii jamii anatambua nyinyi na angetaka mumsaidie kuendesha serikali yake so hapo mbele mjipange na sisi na rais hawa wote hatutatumia hao vibaya hawa watatumika vizuri hawa watatumika vizuri kujenga Kenya kwa sababu hapo meleni waziri aliokuwa wa usalama muungwana watu ya handshake wamemtumia vibaya walimtumia kuumiza watu na kupiga watu saa ile mambo imekwisha wamemwacha amebaki peke yake na kwa hivyo tunataka viongozi Tukamkaribishe waziri mkuu Musali ya Mudavadi kwa makofi. Asante sana. Nilikuwa nasema rais wetu wale ambaye rais amepatia kazi kutoka jamii hii watatumika kwa heshima na watatumika kusaidia wa Kenya. Ni makosa sana wale handshake brothers walitumia bwana Fred Matiangi vibaya kumwambia umize watu atukane rais aangaishe watu na baadaye wakamwacha kwa mataa juzi alipojiletea shida bila kuletewa na mtu yeyote kusema ati polisi wameenda kwake na hakuna mtu ni akiona kivuli yake anaona polisi akapata shida kidogo akipigia hiyo watu simu awachukui mimi ndiye alinipigia simu alikuwa mtu ya kuniangaisha nikachukua simu yake 
na nikamwambia ulitumika vibaya na mwenyewe analalamika sisi wale watoto wenu wako kwa, kwa serikali ya rais watatumika vizuri kujenga kisi na kujenga Kenya mungetaka namna hiyo ya mwisho ndio ni mwalike rais niseme sisi uchaguzi uliisha huyu mzee ya maandamano alisema ataenda kuvamia ikulu rais amemngoja kuliko kwenda pale kuonana na rais ameenda kuharibu mali ya watu town yeye ako na shida na rais si kama ni mwanaume angeenda pale akutana na rais kwa ikulu sasa town anaenda kuharibu mali wewe bwana kitendawili kama umeogopa kukutana na huyu rais Jumatatu hapana haribu mali ya wakenya si ukuja kwangu mtoto ya maumau unikuta pale na tuseme rais na tumemwambia viongozi wetu ya kanisa jana kwa heshima kubwa viongozi wa kanisa tunaheshimu nyinyi na tunafurahia mtatafuta amani lakini hamwezi kutuambia tukae chini na yule mtu amelete fujo tungeomba viongozi wa kanisa tumekuwa na amani huyu mzee ndio amelete fujo muende muite huyu mzee mumuongeleshe akikosa kusikia mumuombe abadilike atubu awache fujo akae kama wakenya wengine lakini sisi hatuwezi kukubali kuketi chini na muhalifu ambaye anaharibu mali ya wakenya we cannot sit down with somebody promoting criminal acts it is against any known law kukaa chini na yule muhalifu kwa hivyo rais wetu tunakuunga mkono endelea kuendesha Kenya na ulide usalama wa Kenya. Na huyu mzee anasema ati rais atamjua. Sasa ati anakemea huyu kemani ichungwa ati ndandini nyoro na mimi. Ati kwa sababu jamii wa Kikuyu pale imesema mahali yao haitaharibiwa. Na kama ataharibu atakutana na hawa. Sasa anataka ati kuingilia sisi. Sisi hatuna nafasi. Sisi tuko ndani ya serikali tunafuata sheria. Polisi ndio watakabiliana na yeye kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi yao. Na vile Ichongo amesema huyu mzee akitenda wili kama hujui sisi. Kama hujui mimi vizuri. Kama hujui ukemani Ichongo, hujui ndede nyoro watoto wa Maumau. Kwenda tafuta uru Kenyata, umuulize hiyo vijana watatu ni rangi gani. Si huyu Kenyata alikuwa kwa kwa mamlaka. Tukamwambia atembee alienda nyumbani na aibu na sisi tulimwambia uru kenyata uwezi kutuletea mtu ya kuharibu mali mtu ya kuchokora Kenya alisumbua baba yako amesumbua kebaki amesumbua moi amekusumbua ati tuletee tuunge yeye mkono sasa huyu mzee amekasirika ati wakikuyu walikataa kumuunga mkono anapanga watu atiharibu mali ya wakikuyu ati atuumize Abachana na dindi nyoro na kemani chongo hao ni watu wadogo. Akuje kwangu. Si ameshindwa na rais. Sasa akuje kwangu. Ndio tueleza wana maneno mawili matatu. Sisi tunapenda wazee, tutamwambia maneno mbili tatu. Na rais wetu this country is a country of the rule of law. We have a constitution. We cannot violate the constitution by engaging a leader engaging in criminal acts into a discussion kama anataka mazungumzo ni mambo mawili akuje pale kwa rais atafute appointment kwa controller of state house na atakuta mimi nimeketi hapo na notebook mambo ya kujadiliana na Raila Odinga is one agenda only to discuss his exit from Kenyan politics and permanent retirement from this country hiyo tutasugumza na yeye. Ya pili tunamwalika yeye na ndugu yake Uhuru Kenyatta for another discussion. Mari iliporwa the last three months of the administration. Ile walichukua 15 billion in 26 minutes. 34 billion ya fuel levy. We can have a discussion with Raila and Uhuru hiyo pesa watarudisha siku gani. That is a conversation we can have. And their final conversation 
is to tell us ile pesa walichukua wakapeleka ya Padora Cayman's Island watarudisha lini inue uchumi wetu that is a discussion we can have with Raila Odinga with his hardship brother mambo atiataingia kwa serikali ya William Ruto kupitia mlango ya nyuma hiyo haiwezekani mnataka ingia asiingie we cannot and you cannot intimidate the people of Kenya year after year we cannot succumb to blackmail you blackmailed president moi he gave in to your blackmail you blackmailed moi kebake he gave in to blackmail you blackmailed uhuru kenyatta ukamuzia uoga you went to his government you destroyed his government this government is a government of the people we cannot allow you to come to this government and destroy it the way you destroyed three previous governments na wewe bwana simba ratu umesema utamuongelesha umwambie nimesema namna hiyo nikiwa hapa kama ako na maneno niko pale harambe house annex amekaribishwa tumekubaliana kabla niita rais waziri mkuu amekuja my brother msalia mudavadi come and say jambo to this people ndio ni mwalike rais bigieni makofi kwa waziri mkuu wetu msalia mudavadi asante sana naibu wa rais Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na abagusi wote wakiwa na governors wenu na wajumbe mbia mno Bwairire Wira Mbebaramu Asante ah, Your Excellency nilikuwa tulikuwa kule wasingishu tukiwa na waziri na kumicha na Mheshimiwa Mboko tulikuwakilisha kwa World Tuberculosis Day. Kwa hivyo mkiona tumechelewa tulikuwa tumetumwa kwa kazi kule. Lakini tukasema liwe liwalo. Ni lazima tuje tuungane na rais kwa sherehe ya Thanksgiving ya ndugu yetu Mheshimiwa Machogo. Kwa hivyo sitasema mengi sana kwa sababu sijui viongozi wamesema nini ukienda sana labda utateleza. Kwa hivyo kile tu nitahimiza ni kwamba sisi tuko imara serikali iko shwari na lengo letu ni kuinua uchumi wa taifa letu. Watu wa abagusi mumekuwa na vigogo sagini nyachai nyamwea onyonka na wengine wengi ongeri hawa wote na hata kigogo mwingine matiangi Hawa wote wamekuwa vigogo kwa sababu walishirikiana na serikali na walitambua serikali. Ajenda ya kutotambua serikali ina balaa. Ile historia ule msingi mumeweka kwa kujua serikali iko wapi na kukua kwa mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha mnachangia mambo ya kitaifa tafadhali msiondoke kwa barabara hiyo sasa tuko na kigogo machogu kwa serikali anasimamia elimu yote na mambo mengine solista general yuko mikononi mwenu na wengine tafadhali tusiteleze kwa sababu wale wengine wameshindwa kimchana wamejaribu njia zote za kisheria wameshindwa sasa wanajaribu njia ambazo si za kisheria sasa wewe unaambia ulimwengu kwamba unataka uketi na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya kuzungumza vile sava zitafunguliwa hiyo inaweza kuwa ajenda kweli wewe unataka uketi na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya unasema 
unataka watu ambao walihujumu karibu wa hujumu usalama wa taifa letu kwa mambo ya uchaguzi atiwarejeshwe kwa kazi hiyo haiwezi kuwa agenda ni sheria gani utatumia ni fikira za aina gani kwa hivyo tunaoomba kwa unyenyekevu tusimame imara tulenge mbele tujenge taifa letu na tumuunge rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya William Samoei Ruto mkono ili udhabiti urudi katika taifa letu na uchumi uimarishwe asanteni sana Mungu awabariki Tumekubaliana jamii ya Mungu tutaunga huyu rais wetu mkono ni maandamano ama ni maendeleo ni maandamano ama ni maendeleo asante sana kwa hivyo mimi nasema nikimalizia our security officers ignore what Raila is saying what he means he does not say and what he say he does not mean akisema ati kuna watu wanapangwa yeye ndiye anapanga akiwaambia anakuja kisi umgojee bomet tunamuelewa and we are ready for him kwa hivyo mimi nauliza kwa heshima zote tusimame kwa vigelegele na shangwe tumukaribishe rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoe Ruto Mr President Hey asante sana Tafadhali tunaweza keti chini asanteni thank you <coughs> Viongozi wetu wa dini maaskofu mlio hapa na wachungaji na pastors Bwana Deputy President wa mawaziri Prime Cabinet Secretary aliye hapa mawaziri wote wakiongozwa na ndugu yangu Ezekiel Machogu na familia yako Mheshimiwa Governor wetu wa hapa Kisi Mheshimiwa Governor wetu wa Nyamira Waheshimiwa senators wa bunge MCAs ndugu wananchi wa Kisia mjambo Abantu bami ntombo ya more Mbu ya more naende Nyasae no muya Chinga kichionzi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hebu mnisalimie hewani hivi nione Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hey Asalala. Naona watu kweli <laughs> mumekuja. Na mumekuja kukuja. Kwanza wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tufike hapa kisi kwa mara nyingine tena. Tulikuwa hapa tangu jana. Tutakuwa hapa mpaka kesho na mkitupanga vizuri tutakaa hata siku nyingine mbili. Mbele yenu mimi nasimama jameni najua tumekuja kwa sherehe ya muhimu ya ndugu yetu Ezekiel Machogu lakini mimi nataka hii sherehe pia nichukue kwa heshima kubwa nishukuru watu wa Kisi na Nyamira tulikuja hapa tukauliza kura zenu mukawa ni watu wangwana mkatuamini mkatupatia kura zenu mkatuongezea maombi mimi nasimama mbele yenu kusema asante sana mimi narudia tena watu wa Kisi asanteni sana kwa kura zenu leo tumeungana pamoja na nyinyi katika ibada hii ya shukrani kwa sababu mbali na bidii mbali na yale yote tulifanya ni Mungu alitupatia ushindi mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa sababu hata pale machogu hakupata leo tuko hapa kwa sababu Mungu amemwezesha sasa leo ni waziri wa taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Kisii. 
kwa kunipatia huyu shujaa Ezekiel Machogu afanye kazi pamoja na mimi. Mambo yetu hapa Kisii ilikuwa inayumba yumba. Mpaka siku ile tulipata Ezekiel Machogu akakuja akashikilia na ndio tukapata ile kura tulipata hapa kwa heshima yenu na mimi nataka niwaeleze vile deputy president amesema huyu Machogu is among our best performing ministers in the Republic of Kenya. Na niko na imani ya kwamba huyu Machogu atafanya hiyo kazi tumempatia kwa kujitolea na atafanya elimu katika taifa letu la Kenya litoke katika kiwango iliyoko sasa ifike katika kiwango kingine we are very confident of the performance of our friend Ezekiel Machogu na ndio nimekuja hapa niwaambie watu wa hapa kiamo kama watu wa hapa kitutu masaba watu wa nyaribari masaba sore watu wa nilikuwa kitutu kule asubuhi watu wa nyaribari masaba na watu wa kisi asanteni sana kwa urafiki wenu asanteni sana kwa kukubali ya kwamba sote tuweze kushirikiana na kufanya kazi kwa pamoja nataka niwaeleze vile vile ya kwamba mbali na mimi na huyu rigiji mletupatia kura zenu mulipiga kura kwa wabunge MCAs senator governor mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba hawa viongozi wenu wote ambao mliwachagua sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi na wao we are going to work with all the elected leaders in this county in Yamira county so that we can plan the progress the development the transformation of our two counties as we plan the transformation of Kenya tutashirikiana na wao tuweze kupanga mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya mimi nawashukuru sana vile imesemekana mimi nimekuja hapa kisii mara nyingi nimetembea hapa kwa miradi tofauti tofauti nimekuja hapa mambo ya barabara nimekuja ya stima ya shule ya kanisa ya hospitali ya technical training college na mambo mengine mengi mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba hiyo urafiki nitazidisha tutaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja na nyinyi mpaka tuweze kubadilisha kisi tubadilishe nyamira wakati tuko katika harakati ya kubadilisha Kenya and that is a commitment i am making to you that this is the opportunity to transform our nation this is the opportunity to change the fortunes of the people of Kenya and we need to work together i am ready to work with all the elected leaders so that we can take our country to the next level so nyinyi kama wananchi wa hapa nyamira na kisi tunakubaliana jameni tuungane mnasema nifanye kazi na hawa viongozi wenu tupange mambo yenu ya maendeleo tupange nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wa hapa kisi na tupange mambo yenu yote ya kilimo ya maji ya stima ya barabara na zile zingine zote tunakubaliana tuendelee safari hiyo na mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwa upande wangu niko tayari tutashirikiana na tutapanga vile Kenya itaenda mbele kwa pamoja hawa viongozi wakiongozwa na deputy wangu wamewaeleza vile tumepangana kama viongozi na bado tutawapanga wengine tumepangana na madirector tumepangana na machairman tumepangana na CSS na watu wale wengine wote mambo ya viongozi tumewaeleza vile tumepangana mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii sasa niwaambie vile tumepangana na mambo ya wananchi kwa sababu katika uchaguzi si tulikuwa na mkataba ya viongozi na wananchi si nyinyi kama vio, wananchi mmetimiza sehemu yenu si sisi kama viongozi tumepata nafasi si mmetupatia nafasi sasa kwa sababu tulikuwa pamoja kama viongozi wamepata tunataka kujua vio, na wale wananchi walipiga kura watapata nini 
ama mulipiga tu kura kiolela kwani kwani nyinyi amuna 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 eh, interest yenu hiyo sasa ndio mimi nataka niseme tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi wenu nimekuja hapa tangu jana nilikuja hapa tangu jana kwa sababu kuna kazi niliwacha barabarani kuna kazi niliwacha haijakamilika wakati wale wa majamaa wa handshake waliniangaisha bahati yao hawakujua bali na kuangaisha huyu mtu ile kazi ilikuwa inafanyika hawakushughulika nayo ndio jana nimefika hapa tuanze mahali tuliwachia hiyo kazi tupeleke hiyo kazi mbele jana nimefika hapa kwa ile maji ya gekati mmesikia women rep wenu wamesema imezungumziwa kwa miaka nyingi jana tumekuja kufungulia nyinyi hiyo treatment plant na inatosha kusavu watu wengi both kisi ya nyamira ile tatizo tuko nayo ni kwamba hata kama tuko na treatment plant na tumetega maji ile mifereji na ile inaitwa last mile ndio iko matatizo jana nimetangaza ya kwamba tutaweka shilingi milioni tano ya kusambaza maji na kuhakikisha kwamba ile mambo ya last mile inafikia wananchi wengi zaidi jana nimefika hapa vile vile kwa sababu ya mambo ya barabara zenu pale eh, kitutu masaba north mahali tulianza leo asubuhi tuko na barabara ya kegogi kwenda mpaka rioma hiyo barabara ilikwama leo nimeanzisha rasmi kujengwa hiyo barabara na nimesema ndani ya miezi ine hiyo barabara iwe imekamilika pia mjumbe wa pale bwana nyakundi ameniaeleza barabara ya kutoka pale kegogi kwenda marani mpaka nyakoe pia nimesema hiyo barabara tutajenga in this year tutajenga hiyo barabara tutaweka lami pia tuko na barabara ingine ilikwama mimi na rais uhuru kenyata tulikuja kuianzisha karibu miaka nane iliyopita hiyo barabara ambayo inatoka pale ambayo inaitwa nyamokomba kwenda ngenyi ragogo mpaka nyakoe hiyo barabara imekwama miaka nane na kwa sababu tuko na contractor amezembea mimi nimesema huyo contractor na nimemweleza waziri murkomen yuko hapa huyo contractor atoke kwa hiyo barabara kwa sababu ameshindwa na hiyo kazi tutafute contractor mwingine na tumpatie wania akamilishe hiyo barabara kwa sababu wananchi wa pale wanahitaji hiyo barabara na tuweke lami huyo contractor mwingine anaweza anaweza kwenda kuchoma makaa hakuna problem kwa sababu kazi ni kazi tumekubaliana vile vile jana nilikuwa hapa Nyamira kwa sababu kuna barabara tuli promise ama tuliahidi watu wa pale barabara ya kutoka eh, amabuko kwenda rigoma kwenda mpaka gekano hiyo barabara pia imekwama miaka nyingi jana nimeenda kuanzisha rasmi hiyo barabara na nimesema inside one year that road must be complete pia tuko na barabara ingine ilikwama barabara ya manga motemomwamo hiyo vile vile nimesema tutakuja kuianzisha tutaikamilisha kuna barabara ingine tena ambayo inakuja mpaka hapa keumbu inaanza pale kemera naenda kiendege hiyo barabara nilikuwa pale mwenyewe kuianzisha lakini wale jamaa wa anje walikuhamisha ikapotea nimesema tena hiyo barabara nitakuja kuianzisha rasmi tujenge tuweke lami kwa manufaa yenu tuko na barabara zingine nyingi kuna barabara nilikuja kuanzisha pale ya Sosera kwenda Ramasha si ndio mpaka hapa Nyanturago hiyo barabara ilijengwa kilomita mbili ikakwama Waziri Murkomen please ukuje upange mambo ya hiyo barabara mimi nataka hiyo barabara ijengwe kwa manufaa ya hawa watu Vile vile kuna barabara mjumbe wenu ameuliza 
barabara ya kutoka pale Keroka kuja Ibacho mpaka hapa Kiamokama Hiyo barabara vile vile tutaweka katika mipango yetu Tunaelewana jameni na tuko na barabara zingine nyingi ambazo zilikwama saa hizi hatuna pesa ya kutosha kwa sababu wale majamaa walihama na pesa nyingi lakini mimi nataka niwahakikishie tunapanga mambo vizuri na tutarudi hapa na mpango kamili ya kukamilisha zile barabara zote ambazo tulianzisha na zile zingine ambazo mtahitaji ili tuweze kupanga usafiri muweze kufanya kilimo muweze kupanga biashara na tuhakikisha kwamba tunainua uchumi ndio tuweze kuondoa umaskini na tuweke pesa kwa mifuko ya wananchi wa hapa hiyo ndio mpango yetu ya wananchi jambo la pili tumeketi chini na viongozi wenu governor simbarati governor e, nyaribo na viongozi walinitembelea tukaketi chini na wao katika ofisi yangu tukaongea mambo kadhaa kati yao ni mambo ya airport ya hapa kisi mnajua ile airport ya pale suneka iko na matatizo haiwezi kupanuka nyinyi mumependekeza ya kwamba tuwe na airport mimi nimekubali tutawajengea airport ile nimekubaliana na viongozi ni kwamba mimi siwezi kujua ni mahali gani itajengwa sisi tunataka wale experts technical experts kipchumba murkomen atatuma hawa technical experts wakuje watuangalilie tutajenga hii airport wapi kama itakuwa hapa nya nyangusu sawa kama itakuwa kule sironga ama mahali pengine tunataka watueleze katika technical expertise yao which is the most suitable place for us to build the airport wakisha sema ni mahali fulani tutajenga airport pale mnakubali twende hiyo barabara hatutaki viongozi wa bishane sijui ni hapa ni kule ni kwingine sisi wote we are not experts hata mimi so turuhusu wale experts watuambie ni hapa tujenge airport yenu na tukifanya hivyo tuhakikishe ya kwamba hiyo airport ina serve watu wa hapa kizi watu wa nyamira watu wa hapa kericho pengine migori pengine narok iwe ni mahali ambayo inaunganisha wa Kenya wote tunakubaliana namna hiyo tumekubaliana hawa viongozi jambo lingine la wananchi ambayo tumekubaliana ni mambo ya maji tumekubaliana ya kwamba tumeongea karibu miaka tano ya maji ya hapa E, magwagwa ambaye italete maji pale Nyamira na pia tumekubaliana ile maji ambayo iko hapa ambaye Bunyunyu tulikuwa hata na contract mtu ambaye alikuwa amependekeza alafu baadaye akatoroka mimi nataka niwahakikishie maji ya Bunyunyu maji ya kule magwagwa tumepanga PS wa mambo ya maji yuko hapa ako na taarifa kamili ako na instructions kamili vile tumepanga ndio maji ipatikane mama wenu wa county awache kunipigia makelele anasema kina mama wanaangaika si ndio nitapangana na huyu mama wenu wa county tumeelewana so huyu mama wenu wa county ni rafiki yangu tutapangana na yeye nimesikia vile anasema wa mama wanaangaika na mambo ya maji So we have a plan for matters of water in Kisi County. Jambo la ine ambayo tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi ni mambo ya agro processing, value addition, manufacturing. Na tayari tumekubaliana ya kwamba mimi nitatafuta pesa. Lakini pia county watatafuta pesa. Hapa Kisi nimekubaliana na Simba Arati kwamba kama ni hapa Nyanturako atafute ardhi ya kutosha nimesema nitamwekea milioni mia moja kwa sasa yeye aweke milioni mia moja akijipanga vizuri mimi nitakuja pale nimuone kama amejipanga vizuri na nyinyi 
Mimi nitajipanga vizuri pamoja na nyinyi vile vile. Tunaelewana? So I am waiting for the invitation my good friend Simba Rati to the facility in Nyanturago. Once I see how organized you are, I will give you additional resources so that we can actualize the agricultural aggregation and industrial park. Mahali ambapo nyinyi kama wakulima mutapata mahali ya aggregation ya ndizi yenu ya mazao yenu yote ya shambani ndio wakati tunapanga soko tunapanga soko tukiwa tumeifanyia value addition tukiwa tumefanya agro processing kwa sababu ile mazao yetu yote tunaza, uh, tunazalisha shambani tunataka kutumia kabla ya kuuza tuitumie kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu kwa mambo ya value addition mambo ya agro processing manufacturing tulete hapa nyumbani ndio vijana wapate ajira na tuongeze dhamana kwa ile mazao yenu ndio ile pesa mnapata iongezeke tunaelewana jameni so we have agreed hapa nyamira nilikuwa kule na governor wa nyamira jana na nimeona wamejipanga vizuri ndio nilisema ile pesa nilikuwa nimewapatia milioni moja nimeongeza iwe milioni tano ya Nyamira County. Na mkijipanga vile Nyamira, mimi nitaongezea nyinyi vile nimeongezea Nyamira. Tunaelewana? Because we want to transform our nation. Na haya maneno hatutaki kuongea. Sasa tunataka action. Tunataka mambo yende eh, mahali ambapo tunaweza kuyatimiza yale mambo tume, eh, tumepanga. Vile vile kapana wenu aliniuliza mambo ya hospitali ya mother and child tumekubaliana na yeye akamilishe amesema ameniweka ameweka pesa ya kukamilisha mjengo wa hospitali ikikamilika mimi nitawaletea equipment ya kutosha kuhakikisha kwamba we operationalize eh, that facility na kama kuna hospitali ingine imekwama na vifaa mimi niko hapa kwa sababu katika ile mpango yetu ya universal health coverage we must have enough facilities to facilitate our deployment and our service on matters human ama universal health coverage tunakubaliana vile vile hapa kisi town yenu imesongamana sana hamuna mahali ya kupanua hiyo town tuko na prison ambayo iko katikati ya town mimi nimemwambia hawa viongozi wenu wakiongozwa na governor mimi niko tayari kuwapatia hiyo shamba ya prison ambayo iko katikati ya town. Mkinipatia shamba hapa mashambani kidogo kama ni Nyanturago ama sehemu gani. Mimi I am ready to move the prison ili mupate ardhi ya kupanua na kuongeza mji wa Kisi. Tuna, tunaelewana? Na mimi niko tayari kesho So nimemwambia governor and I am happy niliconnect yeye na watu wangu tayari wameongea wako njiani wanakuja watakutana na governor wenu tutapanga hiyo kazi mimi nitasaidia to move the prison so that we can expand the land available for the expansion of Kisi town Tumekubaliana jambo lingine la wananchi mimi nimekubaliana na hawa viongozi wenu kwamba kisi ardhi inazidi na kuwa ndogo sana. Mnagawanya ilikuwa eka kumi ikawa eka tano. Sasa imetoka eka tano iko eka mbili. Tukiendelea namna hiyo itakuwa nusuweka, itakuwa robo na itapotea. Si ni kweli? Na hiyo ardhi yenu Mungu ametubarikia ni ardhi yenye iko na rotuba na iko na mvua. Tunataka hiyo ardhi badala ya kutumia kwa mambo ya settlement na kujenga manyumba tunataka hiyo ardhi mlio nayo tusaidiane tuweze kutumia kuzalisha kilimo kuzalisha chakula kuendesha mambo ambayo itatusaidia sote na ndio tumekubaliana the future is urban siku zetu za usoni watu watakuwa wanaishi katika miji na ndio sababu tunataka kuanzisha safari ile mimi nilisema wakati wa campaign ya kwamba tutatumia our housing plan kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na manyumba mazuri ya wananchi kuishi itusaidie kupanga ajira ya vijana na jambo la tatu 
itusaidie kupunguza ile ardhi inagawanywa ambayo ingetumika kwa kilimo inatumika sasa kwa makao so tumekubaliana the first 10000 housing units ya kisi na 10000 housing units ya nyamira tayari mimi na washukuru mumetupatia ardhi tumepata ekari sabini in different towns here in kisi tumepata ekari hamsini in different places in nyamira na tayari tumetangaza kandarasi tunafunga tarehe 30 mwaka huu eh, mwezi huu sorry tunafunga hiyo kandarasi na mimi nitarudi hapa in the next three to four months ni kuje nianzishe ujenzi wa manyumba elfu kumi ya kwanza hapa kisi mimi nataka vijana munisikize kwa makini vijana muko munisikize kwa makini hiyo nyumba elfu kumi ambayo tutajenga hapa kisi nyumba elfu kumi tutajenga kule nyamira tunahitaji vijana zaidi ya elfu kumi na tano hapa kisi vijana elfu kumi na tano kule nyamira ambao watatusaidia kujenga hiyo manyumba tunahitaji plumbers tunahitaji masons electricians tunahitaji carpenters tunahitaji watu wa taaluma tofauti tofauti tunahitaji hata vijana ambao watatusaidia na hiyo kazi nyinyi vijana wa kisi na nyamira muko tayari tufanye hiyo kazi pamoja muko tayari ama muko tayari Waja nisikie sauti yenu wapi sauti ya vijana wa hapa kisi nisikie Muko tayari tufanye hiyo kazi pamoja? Mimi niliwaahidi ya kwamba tutapanga mambo ya uchumi ambayo itazalisha ajira kwa vijana wetu wa Kenya. And our housing plan is one such plan. Our agro processing and value addition in our agricultural aggregation and integration uh, uh, parks is another program that is going to create jobs for our young people na ndio mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba tutarudi hapa hivi karibuni tupange na tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunabadilisha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya vile inchi zingine zimepiga hatua that is what we must do as a country and as a people vile vile nilikuwa jana kule Kisi National National Polytechnic na mimi nataka tuwatangazie ya kwamba zile technical training colleges zetu zote ambazo tuko nazo tumesema ya kwamba we will start our digitization plan there jana tumelete computers mia moja kwa kisi eh, national polytechnic tuko na zingine ambazo tutapatia every constituency that has a technical training college kwa sababu mbali na kujifunza mambo ya computer tunataka kutumia hizi computer kuzalisha ajira ile ambayo itasaidia vijana wetu to work in what we call digital jobs and we are going to roll out a problem a, a, a program we are going to ask parliament to work with us so that we as a country can work like what other countries in philippines in korea and in other areas where they have created huge opportunities for young people working on digital jobs to hakikisha kwamba tunazalisha ajira ya vijana wetu wa Kenya because unless we have a deliberate concrete plan on the employment of our young people we risk the future of our country and the future of our young people so haya mambo yote tumekubaliana na nimeona mbali na yale tumesema tutapanga na viongozi tuko pia na ile tutapanga na wananchi kwa sababu sote tunataka tutembee kwa pamoja watu wa kisi mimi nataka niwaulize muko tayari tufanye hii kazi pamoja muko tayari tupange hiyo barabara pamoja tupange ya ajira ya vijana tupange ya mambo ya digitization tupange maji na stima na elimu ya watoto wenu tupange uchumi wenu na kilimo wale wanasema tuko tayari tupangane namna hiyo nione kwa mkono bas mimi nimesimama hapa niwaeleze hiyo ndio kazi mmenipatia na hiyo ndio kazi nitapanga ile mimi nataka niulize wale nilishindana na wao mimi nimepatiwa sasa kazi na hawa wananchi tafadhali muache kunisumbua na mambo ya maandamano 
mnipatie nafasi nipange ajira ya hawa vijana nipange kilimo ya hawa wananchi nipange vile tutazalisha chakula nipange mbolea nipange mbegu hawa watu watuzalishie chakula tupange tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya ni kweli ama si kweli si hao majamaa walikuwa na nafasi yao si miaka mitano tulikuwa na serikali ya handshake si mtu yangu ya kitendawili alikuwa na hiyo serikali ya handshake si walikuwa na nafasi yao si walipanga ile walipanga walipanga handshake wakapanga BBI wakapanga rege wakapanga hiyo ingine mpaka unga ikakuwa 230 ni kweli ama si kweli sasa wanatuuliza nini si walikuwa na nafasi yao sasa wanipatie nafasi nipange na hawa ndugu zangu ambaye wamechaguliwa tupange vile Kenya itaenda mbele and i want to respectfully ask our friends ya kwamba mambo ya uchaguzi tulimaliza nyinyi kama wananchi hapa kisi si tulipiga kura jameni tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwaka uliopita ama amugu piga kura pande hii mulipiga kura mukachagua MCA mukachagua wabunge mukachagua governor na senator na rais mulichagua ama amugu chagua mulichagua rais mulipiga kura ya rais Munajua matokeo ilikuwa nani alishinda? Muko na hiyo habari? Ni ule mtu ya kitendawili alishinda ama huyu Hasland alishinda? Nani alishinda? Sasa mimi nataka nimwambie mtu wa kitendawili, please. Wewe ni mzee, tungependa sana tukeheshimu, lakini wacha fujo. Wacha maandamano. Wacha vita. Wacha kupiganisha watu tafadhali we want to respect everybody lakini mambo ya fujo na maandamano na kupiganisha watu na kuharibu mali ni mambo ambayo hayakubaliki katika society yeyote tukiendekea mbele na hata kama mzee ya kitendawili ako na shida ako na shida ya mama mboga ya nini makanga ako na shida ilitokea wapi wafanyabiashara boda boda wako na shida na yeye ilitokea wapi kwani mi nauliza nyinyi watu wa kisi ule mtu ya kitendawili alishindana na nyinyi ama alishindana na mimi si alishindana na mimi kama ako na shida si akuje aniulize sasa ameenda kuletea fujo ameenda kuletea vita mama mboga hajauza kwa sababu ya vita yake ule makanga hajakuwa kazini kwa sababu ya vita yake ule mama, uh, ule mtu ambaye wa kinyosi hajakuwa kazini wafanyabiashara wa matatu hawajafanya biashara wale wa benki hawajafanya biashara yeye anaulizana nini na wafanyabiashara wetu kama hako na shida akuje uh, angaliane na mimi macho kwa macho mimi ndio nilimnyorosha sio mama mboga sio boda boda sio makanga si mimi ndio nilimnyorosha huyu mzee na sio siri nilimnyorosha na niliwaambia huyu mzee mimi nitammalizia asubuhi na mapema na si ndio ilivyokuwa sasa wewe mimi nilikunyorosha asubuhi na mapema saa hizi utaki kuniface wewe umeenda kusumbua mama mboga umeenda kusumbua makanga umeenda kusumbua wananchi wa kawaida wewe uliulizana nini na wananchi wa kawaida si kama hako na maneno ya kuja uliza na mimi ama namna gani so i want to tell my friend mr raila odinga respectfully you know my friend stop the arrogance stop the contempt for ordinary people What are you asking Ocas? What are you asking Touts? What are you asking ordinary business people? You have gone with violence. You have gone with chaos and anarchy to visit on ordinary people who are going about their business. If you have issues, deal with me. Forget about ordinary wananchi of the Republic of Kenya. Tunaelewana jameni? Ama niaje? Si kama hako na maneno aulizana na mimi. Si mimi ndio nilishindana na yeye. Sasa amepelekea fujo mama mboga, amepelekea fujo makanga, amepelekea fujo wananchi wa kawaida. 
yeye hako na madharau wacha madharau bwana wacha kudharau wananchi wadogo kama uko na maneno wewe menyana na mimi na mimi niko tayari na nimemwambia uchaguzi sasa imeisha hata usikuje kunipotezea wakati uchaguzi imeisha wewe kama uko na maneno jipange 2027 wacha mimi nifanye kazi ya wananchi pale 2027 nitakungojea eh na hiyo 2027 sasa ujue nitakuwa nimejipanga mbaya sana <laughs> Sindio? <coughs> wacha wacha hii. Kwanza hiyo 2027 hata yeye kupata agent peke yake itakuwa kazi ngumu. So wacha kusumbua watu. Ama na magani. I mean kwani wewe sasa umesumbua kila serikali. Ulisumbua ya moi mpaka moi akaenda. Ukakuja ukaangaisha kebaki ukakuja ukaangaisha uhuru ndio huyu umeenda kuangaisha mama mboga umeenda kuangaisha makanga umeenda kuangaisha watu wadogo kama wewe uko na maneno si ukuje bwana you face you know you are equal eh ama namna gani na vile hata mimi naona mimi ninafikiri anyway wacha tuseme sana wacha hapo hiyo maneno so mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nataka tu niulize please we want a peaceful nation mimi si mtu ya kufanya mambo kinyume ya katiba ama kinyume ya sheria wale askari the police force is an independent police force i want to ask the police to protect the lives the property of every citizen of the republic of kenya and those who are planning to steal those who are unleashing terror and violence on the people of Kenya should be held to account irrespective of who they are in the society anybody planning and scheming for citizens to lose life property business their wares why do you want to terrorize the people of Kenya with violence the police must make sure that they protect the interests of every Kenyan It doesn't matter who the hell you are you must live by the rule of law and nobody has the license to terrorize the people of Kenya with violence with chaos with anarchy destroy their property destroy their business destroy their wares and go scot free we must be a country of the rule of law and everybody must be held to account ama mnasema ati kuna watu wengine wako na leseni ya kuharibu mali ya watu wengine. Si kila mtu jameni afuate sheria. Hata kama wewe ni mrefu ama mnono ama mkubwa ama mdogo. Kila mtu afuate nini? Tumekubaliana jameni. Mnasema tutembee pamoja. Wangapi wanasema tutembee pamoja nione? Basi mimi nataka niwaambie watu hapa kisi mimi nawapenda sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na tutarudi hapa tena na tena na tena mpaka kisi tuibadilishe na Kenya tuibadilishe Asante sana nyasae abaseseni Thank you very much God bless you